Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 53, Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 11th of May, 2020. Happy birthday, Kenneth. Here are the players. Look, here's something I've got to bring up, right? Why, why have we got to introduce our characters and you don't introduce your characters, Ryan? I want an encyclopedia of every character you've ever played in this game. Go. <laughs> Just go. Right, okay. So, hi, I'm Ryan. I have played and, ter- and play Alice. <laughs> The android come reincarnated fucking AI. <laughs> it's me, I say a uh, Edgar Wesland, the former employer slash arms dealer slash rainbow shadow smoke demon, as designated by the players. Um, I also played a button, a associate button, a, until she was ripped in two by a sword. Yeah, she was Is a she okay? Guy. Question mark is definitely the quote that I will never forget about her. <laughs> <laughs> Here's just me after that. I played S. Kate Isabel Furler. I also played Conspiracy Craig was brought up then. I try to do this in order by the way as well. So fuck hey, Right, okay, um, you know what? Let's let's hmm. not. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. right. I'm sorry, Ryan, you can remember them all. Um, I'm wrong. I, Colin, uh, I, I was wrong. I am first in the order, and therefore we speak before Nico. Uh, he's sneaky. He's spooky. He's altogether cookie. Yeah, family. family. Nico. Uh, hello, I'm Nico, and I'm playing Zora, the vice captain. And Ryan plays a lot of characters. <laughs> Too many, so I might say. Yeah, yeah, man. We should stick to one. Hi, folks. <laughs> Welcome to the Ryan monologues. I am Alex, and I have played Nix5 and Weird. Thank you. Both Android mechanics, mm-hmm. both inhabiting the same physical shell of sorts. Hello! I'm Emily. Callum, and I have been playing Zig, the mystical space rat who used to reside near the sun in a temple that got attacked by dry and stuff happened and it was messy yeah it was I was there mm-hmm. he carries a gun <laughs> and he carries a gun he carries a gun <laughs> I mean so do I to be fair so do we all mm-hmm. we're all gun people in mm-hmm. a sense what do you mean that sense being people? that we have guns mm. I may or may not definitely have a gun well, I guess Rootin that's an intro. Right? <laughs> <Shootin'. laughs> the, the final Rootin. hour has like 2A all day in its registration place. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know that doesn't even make sense, but I see. What has that. in this game? So, yeah, I I think it opens up with you guys like inside the Aeoxian cruiser, then, right? Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Is it spooky? You tell me. Uh, there probably oh, is what? like a chill inside. Um, oh. Like it probably is quite cold inside the ship. The point where, like, spooked. I mean, would you say it smells like the funk of 40,000 years? No, I would say that um, little uh, CC is probably using four of his six arms to rub his like, st- like stomach and chest oh. and arms while holding on to Zora. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, is anyone about? Again, oh, like some of the undead working, right? Okay. Am I still seeing a path then? Uh, no, like everything's in colour in here. But it is all like there is like cyan almost lighting. Um, that seems to like bleach the place as if you're seeing with a filter, but it's just the colour of the light. Oh, it's like an art house horror movie. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. it. Yeah, thank you. Um, um, and everybody can see that, so it's this kind of weird cyan filter. Okay. Uh, is there an obvious route to take, or should yeah. we ask? Yeah, no, like, you, you still you still can wander the ship, yeah. That's, you know the way. You know the way. Okay. Uh, then I follow the way. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I think after a, 
a good while of uh, navigating corridor by corridor and I guess brushing past uncomfortably close to the crew. Um, that again. I, how is everyone else with that? Obviously, I'm fine with it. Um, it's not really a problem for me. I'm probably used to getting crammed in drop ships at like 50 million other dudes, so I'm fine with that. Mate. I think CC probably climbs up Zora's back and just kind of like doesn't want to be brushed up against these things. Because, I mean, you all are pretty used to being in tight spaces with the undead, but probably some of these guys will be in worse condition than Lyco. Mm -hmm. I'm probably just to be in a pit with the dead that are rotten. So it's fine. Flashbacks to like <laughs> spring break soil, masses of corpses, rain pouring down, like uh, like uh, Zora's looking up the sky. <laughs> it's grim. It's actually <laughs> pretty grim. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. That was like breakfast. That uh, was Vesk concerts were rough, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. And then the war started. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> no, but keep in mind, like Zora's fought on the front lines. Like against bone sages, right? So yeah, so you're pretty pretty used to this. I mean, probably about, uncomfortable. About ish, but I mean, like yeah, I'm probably not freaking out. Yeah. Um... We should have brought um sparks. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that'd be glorious. <laughs> sparks uh, and that guy on the uh, the bus. Um, both of them yeah. would be. Yeah. That'd have been a session. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually, you put those two together, you've basically got like a libertarian convention. <laughs> so, I wonder yeah, who that guy uh, was running from, right? Possibly Sparks. Um, so, yeah, so like, how, how's, how's Weird? How's Zeg? Mm -hmm. and I think we've covered in some of the backstory that Weird was, uh, or at least under the guise of Nix5, uh, was involved in some formal consulting capacity with the stewards. And part of that did relate to the uh, business on EOX. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I think that was, that was addressed being passing, yeah. yeah now, so was this five or four? I don't recall uh, that, the exact details of that particular... That was five, so that was basically that was kind of one of the small jobs he took. Uh -huh. I know there was overlap for that, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think as well, so though, a lot of it would have been presentable undead, right? Not functional mm. undead. Um, mm -hmm. like there's been a lot of um, like almost phony game show hosts from the 1950s versions of Undead for a uh, trade agreements and the horrible backhanded you know deals mm -hmm. um, so you're probably used to this feels more like Pirate Crew of the Damned vibes than yeah like PR drones right um so yeah, there is definitely a distinct difference from what you remember dealing with, but you definitely probably mm. have a bit more experience in this than the average Joe. And I think just generally Akatonian constitutions, do you expect uh, some unpleasantness when you're out in the desert? Yeah, right? Like, expect the unpleasant. Which is valid given that Akaton is essentially crime alley, right? Of mm, yeah. the packed world. <laughs> which, to be fair, like, yeah, fair, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not. It's not how many different bodies are still moving? Like how many lawyers and uh, like next of kin have you consulted already thus far on this place, right? So yeah, yeah. And that was on a bus trip. Yeah. Uh, what about Zig? Uh, I think Zig's got a how very. How many of them did you actually send here, right? Um... <laughs> how? <laughs> um, but no, I think Zig's uh, got that. You know when you're you're kind of pretty uncomfortable, so he's he's kind of got his head down, kind of keeping keeping his eyes fixed on um, the nearest party member, for for lack of a better word. Um, so yeah, kind of head down, looking at keeping tabs on where he's supposed to be going, but not making con like eye contact with any of the the, the undead. If yeah, I don't look like at it. them, they won't... Yeah, it's like baby logic in a way. Like, there's a comfort element to it, I think. Uh, I'm not uh -huh. saying he's an idiot. So like I'd say the lineup, like... the lineup would be like Lyco at the front end, and then you'll have Weird next, then Zora with a CC on Zora's back, and then Zig at the end then for that lineup as user. Yeah. 
working. So then I, I'd say Zig's probably looking maybe maybe like his his vision. If you had like the point of view camera on Zig is kind of you know um, that's the sort of like the best ass. ankles. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fair. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, you get a, your com goes, and it's just an emoji of a gun getting cocked. <laughs> and you just look up, maybe if you look at a CC, you just see uh, yeah, him like nodding as he's hanging off the back of a Zora, just like staring at you, nodding severely. <laughs> Zig, I think Zig's still holding the gun. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think he's like put it away. I think he would just kind of, you know, kind of move his hand, gesture like, oh, you know, gun, hand, yeah, ready, cocked. Let's, yeah, yep. great. And like to be honest as well, you've probably been shoulder checked a couple of times, Michael. I am. Um, That's fair. If you're like up front, I am. Um, Takes space, man. That happens. But like. It's a tight space in the sense that a large creature can walk through here comfortably because of weird in his power armor, right? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like they're actively stopping from one side of the like corridor, fixing a control panel, and like, crossing over with like a box and shoulder checking you, and dumping the box in and just standing leaning against the wall as you walk past. Mm. Like there is definitely a distinct dislike of your presence here. Um, okay. But none of them are impeding you, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I, it's doubtful that if, I, you know, considering we've been called here by Ramsethu, that they would be willing to mm. get too frisky. Mm -hmm. um, so Alenko's not going to, like, respond to that. He's not going to do it. And it. Like, nobody else seems to get this treatment, by the way, guys. Like, you just kind of witness them kind of... Yeah, it's... It all seems to be, I don't want to say hazing, because that sound seems jovial and accepting ultimately, but it's not, it's, you know, it's hazing with no end goal of being brotherly, right? It's a, mm. in fact, just bullying, you could call it, at that point. Um, Zombullying. Yeah. Now, uh, sorry, are, are they, like, essentially ignoring the rest of us, or are... Well, I guess, like, from your perspective, right, the Jedi were evil, but also the... Mm. Like the Radiant have, Supreme is evil. You've um, got a Vesk blocking your vision and a, a large creature in the form of Weird blocking your vision, so you probably can't really see Lyco um, during most of this, so you're maybe un uh -huh. unbeknownst to you about the treatment he's getting, but from yeah. your point of view, if you're looking up every now and then, they'll be regarding the group until you pass, like they'll stop and make it obvious that they are aware you are there. Okay, cool. And then they will think, go back to like their work after that. Yeah, I think in that case they could feel a lot more uncomfortable mm -hmm. than I've said before. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You could probably try and run between Zora and Weird if you wanted to be second last instead of last. <laughs> um. Yeah, maybe after like um, looking, looking, looking up a couple times and just seeing like every time I go past them, they're kind of just stopping what they're doing, looking, staring, sort of. Um, maybe they're maybe not menacingly, but like in Zig's mind, menacingly, um, terrifyingly. Yes, spookily and undeadly. Um, yeah, I think Zig would maybe just kind of scurry to be kind of more in the middle of the the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think Zora, you've got. I'm going to suggest that myself. <laughs> yeah, like Zig scurries past you and like yeah, starts walking in front of you. I guess. Okay. Um, I'll just raise an eyebrow and leave it be. <laughs> it screams. I think yeah. I think at this point, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the ocular ridge of doom. <laughs> uh, I think at this point, um, CC has climbed up and he's just got like his his feet either side of your neck and he's just. Kind of like leaning on your head. Okay. Cook here. Famine scare as well. Yeah. That's a cook here. I was going to say, it's like carrying a toddler, let's face it. Um, it's the dad carry. <laughs> um, <laughs> the daddy. Yeah. <laughs> the daddy, yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he's, he's worked your way through the ship. It's a um, bit of a trek to get through this. Um, there are like. There were 
definitely like different kind of paths you could have taken to go, but your vision is different when you look down those ways. Like you maybe do a double take at some of them, and they like lose all the color, and you lose the desire to go that way, right? Um, okay. So it's definitely as if to say, do not go that way. It is dangerous. Um, and you start to head to the part that uh, seems to be big reinforced doors. Um, vague recollections from when you were like psychically summoned to an Eoxian ship before. Um, and yeah, as you approach, the door is open and you walk in and you can see in the ship itself. There's like a fully operational bridge um, and yeah, like Ramasethra is standing there. Which I will show it to everybody again, because why not? I'm glad you specified that it was fully... Fully operational. Fully armed and operational. <laughs> Space station. Yeah. Um, Should you is there a specific polite form of address? Sorry, like, or is just Ramasethu Uh, I... I mean, how did you address Sindale? I think I just called him Sindale usually. Right. So, yeah. Like, she hasn't introduced herself as, like, the Lord and Saviour Sindale, right? She says Ramasethu. I don't this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your collective. Your, co your collective calciumness. <laughs> yeah. Um, your beiginess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh. And she seems oh, to just be, like, much like her um, her artwork, she is just kind of standing, like, overseeing would be the best term. In a distance, are we, like, an appropriate distance to address her? <laughs> like, I, I just want to know, like, are we going to be shouting across the room if I say to speak to her now, you know? Right, so, if this was, like, the main control floor, right, mm -hmm. and then there's, like, computer consoles all around... Right, and each of those like desks maybe has like three or whatever people at them, right? It's a big sunken in part, and then there's like a walkway that goes around the bridge, and there's doors that you came into into the bridge. Okay. And then there's like holographic panels all at the outside of it, right? Look at this. Check this out, right? right. Holographic window. Well, it's functional. I understand right. what you're yeah. doing. Right. I like she is standing like there. I overseeing all the kind of people working. Okay. So immediately as we come in, we're like, bye. And you're, you're like looking at our back, yeah. There you go. Um, well, I suppose given I've taken point and turned my connection to Bone Sages, I will be the one to address her then, and I will just simply say, maybe clear my throat somewhat. <laughs> You know, <clears throat> where am I set to? Uh, you remember being welcomed onto the bridge. Okay, that's never not going to be weird, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. That goes for everybody, um, by the way. Everybody in like, your heads, you just feel like you've had a conversation with her that she says welcome. Mm. <sighs> but you, you can tell she has not moved. <laughs> I would be fine to myself, why does anybody ever just the outside voices? Oh, is... think, sorry, I just think to myself, why does nobody ever use the outside voices? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I will say to her, um, I'm not quite sure how to phrase this, but I want to ask her, you know, essentially why have you brought us here, but I'm trying not to phrase it in a rude way. Oh, just... Yeah, yeah, just something like, you know, you, call, you called us here. Yeah, you could say that, or like, you asked to speak to me, or something like that, yeah. Um, and uh, you remember her having already said to you, yes, there is much we can still achieve in time. Bone sages, man. It's actually a bone sage woman, this one. Mm. <laughs> nah, um... 
I'll just leave our artwork up. I closed it, and I don't know why I closed yeah. it. I feel like I should just leave it open. Okay. Uh, I suppose I'll probably like look around to the the group sort of briefly, get a sense of where they are. Not physically. I mean, like <laughs> you know, see her. Like, are they also? Yeah. weirded out by the fact that she's still doing this. Yeah, and she's, she's just kind of standing there looking over, like, the, the people, like, clearly, like, putting together, like, bits of the bridge and stuff that do seem still completely functioning, um, from what you can tell. Um, and, uh, like, every day as well, like, the... It is definitely you remember having had the conversation, even though it never happened. Mm. Uh, so, I, I suppose what I will say... can we help with and in time for what? I'm going to just stop prefacing everything right with you remember. She said yeah. this and I'm going to just assume everybody remembers that you've remembered the conversation and she's not having it in real time. I remember that I remember. Good. Good, I'm I glad. remember. remember. Um, thank you. I appreciate this. It saves me. Remember, a remember. Do you remember? The I remember. remember. I remember. Hey. remember? <laughs> you remember? So, Sorry. So, yep, sorry guys, we made it 21 minutes, so if you made it this far in the video, send me a recording of you listening to 21 minutes of this, and uh, you can begin a <laughs> session as well, uh, if I the game still to. runs, if the game ends. Can't and wait to meet you! Maybe you'll be in season 2, who knows. Um, but yeah, so, you just remember her saying, you worked under the guidance of Sindael. Is this correct she's not looking at me so nodding won't do much good but i think he just sort of instinctively nods in keep in mind you remember her having spoke to you as if you were yeah. like the sole focus of our attention even though you know she hasn't moved so even if you as like lyco know she hasn't turned to look at you you still feel she has like you still okay. feel she's staring at you for the well, conversation I think there's sort of like the idea of, of of him nodding feels to me like instinctively something he would do yeah. Like, to, as, you know, in a way to respond to superior, you know, sort of a, a nod of, of, of acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. And even if, like, the act isn't necessarily witnessed directly in some weird way, like, the intention of the act is still conveyed. Um, yeah. And again, all of this goes to every day in some kind of weird broadcast way, right? Um, and I think, like, obviously. For Zora's ears, you just have the chittering of CC full swing into your ear. <laughs> just like... Okay. Constantly. <laughs> um... Occasionally, like, like enunciated by like his hands letting go of your head and then like, kind of like slapping a grip back onto your head in case he falls off. <laughs> 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 It's just outraged. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, would, I would just let him do his thing. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's just he's clearly not having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Like as you kind of nod back um, to the conversation, again she conveys the message saying, "Sindael must return," and she leaves that memory. Uh, so he's and and he, I suppose he gestures like yeah, sort of. I'm 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 not very good at describing this kind of gesture, but he like I can I can a sort of open palm, kind of like uh, conveying like he's reaching for the word. He's alive. In in that sense, you remember her cutting you off. <laughs> yeah, okay. And she says, uh, "No, not alive, but not dead. Somewhere between, like all of us bone sages, we are somewhere between. Like you." And you feel like she has made the same kind of gesture of you know slightly waving her hand open to you, and uh, she says. You have met Tectolanus, have you not? 
And this is a new name I to, I think, every day, right? Like, I was going to say, like, I'm, I assume I'm, this is the one that uh, we saw. <sighs> when was that? It was in. The, was it in the? It is when you were leaving uh, Absalom, right? Yes. No. Yes, I believe yes. The last time. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. Yep, because he was on the f on the ship, kind of in the middle of a fight. Remember, as the like Absalom station was being assaulted. Uh, I believe so. Then I'll respond. As I said, the art's on the screen, as well. Good old text awareness. Yeah, yeah Lyco responds. Yeah. I believe so. And uh, she says, again, in memory twins, Are you aware of his machinations? Uh, just a straight no. And then she turns to look at the group. That's not a, you remember her turning? No, she actually doesn't now. Yeah. And again, every day remembers, again, having a conversation with her. She says, There is a Vesk plot to take the Pact Worlds, and Tectolanus intends to fuel this plot. And she cocks her head. And just wait. I looked at the captain. To what end? And again, you already remember the answer. Um, as she says, to claim the Pact Worlds for himself. The ruins of. The... I'd like a sigh. Cause... The Vesk are a match for the current state of the Pact Worlds, bar mm -hmm. one force. And then, there's no word said for what the force is, there's just that sense They'll of dread. Through. There's just that sense of dread. And, uh, well, I guess I'll just say it myself then, Nelly Breen, I guess. Uh, well, you can have that conversation with her, because keep in mind, anything that happens is you remember it having <laughs> happened. Um, mm -hmm. As a conversation, uh, yeah, I was just saying the Libran. Then she actually like she physically puts her hand up uh, in real time, uh, and then like kind of clasps in front of her again. She says, "Unfortunately, I meant the more generalized Eoxians," and she motions to herself. That was my vesk. <laughs> Vest is coming at that, you know. Yep. <laughs> I meant no offense. And obviously, like, she's she's completely like placid again as the physical form, but the the memory of you know her kind of gesturing in a vaguely polite way. I could and, see that. I've been. I wouldn't take any offense because I could see them being a match. Like. Yeah. Yeah, and that you have actively like, fought them, and they have been yeah, terrifying. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she says, "We are more than content with how things were. This balance has been upset. The Librian is a blight upon this system." And a divided force is not progress. If can't. Yeah, Karen, you can cut her off. You no, no. Well, I mean, I already didn't remember this conversation, so you finish, and then I would. No, keep in mind you remember the complete conversation. So if you jump in, okay. you'd also remember what you said. Well, I'll just say, and I can't really say that I appreciate what Demogesh is doing either. They would leave the Vesk in a weakened position, also. 
Yes, your leader, as it were. I would scoff at that. <laughs> yes, carry on. Tectalanus is unopposed as the forefront of the Bowen Sages now that Sindael is gone. And she, like, you feel like, oh, that she's looking at you, even though it would be impossible to tell. I suppose, like, having been looking at the cat, and I sort of returned my gaze to her. Not re not really turning my head much, but turning my eyes to her, and, like, locking where, on where I think her eyes are. <laughs> if you zoom in on that art as well, like, you can kind of yeah, see... Yeah, you can see there's a face under it. Yeah, yeah. A scale it presumably looked like, but... <laughs> and she, um... She says, I have no interest in leading the Bone Sages. I am an archive of sorts. I remember for us. I do not create. Tectalanus wishes to conquer. Sindael wished to evolve. We all have a stake in bringing the uh, Pact Roads back to what uh, what goes for normality around here, but uh, we have also been uh, well, we've been pulled in various directions, and and one of them inevitably leads towards the Mogesh. Uh, the question is how do we fight on both fronts? We need to get Sindel back, presumably. That means Absalom Station. Then how to prevent the Vesk from Well, not only warring with us, but perhaps each other. You are mistaken. Sindael is gone. His form destroyed, holding Absalom together. For that, I believe, we have you to thank. You can definitely tell there is a tone to that. Yeah. It's not Lycle's fault. It actually is. I know it is, but... <laughs> <laughs> he literally asked Sindael if you can uh, do something did, to stay. Did Zig say that in character? No, Zig says that in character, yeah. Okay. If that's the case, then yeah. Like, like you f remember feeling her stare at you, but there's nothing said to you directly? I made... choice... And this choice is why I've reached out to you. I think under his breath, it's a good policy. It wasn't the wrong choice. I appreciate you having my back. <laughs> um, uh, actually, in character, you wouldn't because you can't hear him. Slides <laughs> glasses up my nose. <laughs> uh, See no, that is it, is it, he can hear under my breath. Anyway, if you want. Um, I will. I will see the. It's nice. It's a nice I touch, will, to be honest, for for Zig to add that. And to be fair, I like. I it. will. I will help in any way I can, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this. I look at the captain first, and then around to the whole group. I would not necessarily. Well, like let's let's have a pause here, right, for a second, right? Who is everybody else thinking? Because essentially, what this bone sage has said is, like, was to go bring back a bone sage. Which is that a good thing, right? Like, how do the people of the crew feel about putting back something that is considered super powerful and possibly evil? Right. If it was a state, it seems like Sunday. I was a stabilizing force, though. <laughs> if and I mean, it I wouldn't mean, be the first time. If you get what I mean, uh... <laughs> it sounded like there's a power vacuum, which right. Like so. But then one less right. thing to fight, right? 
in the end the, for the Viscarium. Really, the, the Oxians ever really start anything? I mean, they were the first to try and like start the pack, like join the pact. Uh, no, that stuff. If like, we go back were... far enough, they blew up planets. Yeah. Yeah. People. Yeah. They were the first to go into like the lines, maybe yeah. like stop that bullshit. So they. Like... Mm. So what are saying is they're the good guys. <laughs> yeah, the dead necromancer or super I mean, wizards are the good guys. I love it. <laughs> Looks like it's starting. Uh, well, then you've got the dead dread fleet, dead fleet, dread, dread, the dread, fleet. dread, cops fleet. Yeah, 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 you're confusing yeah, it with yeah. the war. Yeah, 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 yeah so. Okay, <laughs> not um, Yeah, yeah. Cops fleet. So yeah, like maybe we like we go to the Zora, right, and we'll do everybody's reactions in turn because. Lyco turns to everybody. And I guess, like, you remember her regarding you as well to kind of gauge your interests in said quest. So, uh, what, what's the what's the Zora input in the scene? Well, quite frankly, if this could stop. What's the name of the, oh, the bad bone sage starting shit again? Tech Talanis. I'll put Tech them back up. I'm sorry, too many go. names. <laughs> I'll put them back up. Tectalanus wishes to take advantage of my people after what might happen with the Pact Worlds, then finding Sundial might stop it. Well, Kowian. She adds in not finding, returning. I would just raise a finger. Like, <laughs> like yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think um, during that, I. CC just puts it like a set of hands over your eyes. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just stand there with like I just disheartened look in my face probably. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cam the camera pans over to uh, to weird. Uh mm. This is one of those, there's no good answer situations, I think weird feels. Mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think he's ever become quite comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Even if he can pretend to in this current form. <laughs> um, yeah, his tactic, as we have seen recently, is... Uh, Bluff. You can move on from it. Yeah, yeah you can... <laughs> deal with it until you can get away from it. Mm -hmm. Um, which probably isn't placation right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Placate till you can vacate. Am I right, buddies? Yep. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, he's. Uh, vacate I'm... till you can make it. I mean, Sindial. <laughs> putting Sindial back is only really restoring the status quo. Which. The former status yeah. quo, yeah. Yeah. Let's say it's Quanti Bell. One might say. Uh, nobody would say. Thank you. He would. I would. He's the worst. He's a nobody. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. He's. Uh, like, at least with the previous situation, things were ticking along and we knew what was going on. So, better the bone said you know than the bone said you don't. Mm. Which is the it's session. true think, what they say. What is it? All. So, like, okay, that's. I think that's Alex explained what Weird's thinking. But what does Weird yep. explain to the the group then in that moment? What what of that do we get? Oh, I, you get Weird looking around, and if anybody looks at him, he's just sort of just pausing, hoping that something eloquent will come to him, mm. and then shrugging slightly. Yeah. And just what you got, you know, is kind of just like a, almost like a I got nothing. Yep. <laughs> Turns to Zig. Ah. <sighs> Zig, Zig, Zig has all the answers. Um, Zig doesn't like Ramasethu <laughs> for one. <laughs> mind, mind links with Ramasethu. <laughs> she explodes. <laughs> <Do> not. <laughs> All of the undead on the ship just explode in a cascade. <laughs> it's just, right. like, like this is how we win the game, okay? Right. Here's a here's a question, right? right. You like like eleven people, you killed them. So what? 
Maybe if you take that person, that's the time it'll work, right? Depends who's around to shoot them. I mean, <laughs> that's just why you just shoot, sir, with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. Cc. Cc puts another set of hands over his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no. Uh, yeah, Zig doesn't like Ramazeth. However, okay, let's unpack that. Why? Oh, jeez. She's she's uh, creepy as fuck. Mm. And I don't think I don't think Zig's experienced this whole remembering conversation thing other than with Ramasethu a few Don't, sessions back. If I can pause you here and laugh yes, with everybody can. else about how Zig downloads conversations to everybody yeah. else so you have to remember it and you think <laughs> she's weird. Oh no, yeah, that's That's what I love about it. It's the irony of that. Yep, and that's that's still ex that's exactly how Zig feels about it. What, what Zig does isn't weird. You that's know, because he does it. There he is does it. A, a good point that um, Pen Gillette made that hypocrites are twice as likely to be right. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, um, good. that's good, but no, and, and you know, like when when Zig does, there has to be that physical contact as well. Where there you, isn't, you don't know she isn't touching you. <laughs> which is even, which makes it even worse. <laughs> like, but more like the darkness, you know, like, touching you. Not low. Hi. Speaking of Scatterlander now. God bless. <laughs> yes. God bless our boy. God yeah. bless. Ah, uh, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also, <laughs> and also with you. But, but also, um, yeah. On the oh, other wait. side of that, like as someone, someone who's willing to sacrifice themselves to, um, you know, buy time for Absalom Station can't be a bad guy. I mean, that's not how this works. Yeah, like Alex has played enough of this game with me now to realize how I work. So yeah. <laughs> Can't be a bad Listen, guy. Is he a monster <laughs> only literally? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, like Zig isn't physically a monster. Um, physically, psychically, Physi yeah, it's a fucking horror. Psychically, yeah. Um. So yeah, I like. Even ghosts I try think, to I join you. In... Like, <clears throat> let's just put that out there. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, uh, I think I think that, like everything I've just said, if that could be a look, that's mm. what mm. Zig looks like. Um, uh, okay. So like <laughs> paralyzing terror. Right yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so oh, paralyzing no, I'm just terror. Imagining tattoo. Only thing she said. <laughs> 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 yep, like that's right. As we zoom in and Zeg's glazed over eyes. Yep. Yeah, they're like they're like they're they're slightly squinted, like so slightly that like you can't you you, you go your eyes squinty. I'm not sure. And they're mm. further apart than a humans would be, so you have to kind of like move your head around to get a look at them both. <laughs> it's a proper white <laughs> screenshot. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. But but yeah, proper so, fisheye lens. Right, um, so we, we've skirted the conversation enough, so we just get paralyzing terror from Zig. Yeah, that, that that feels mm -hmm. right to me, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's that. I I feel that's exactly like. Yeah. How Zig would react. So like, God okay. bless you, Toki. Like, oh, how do you how do you take the collective will of the okay. crew in? Well. I mean, here's how you can tell the Yosoki aren't Skaven because he would have already have betrayed us and killed everyone, including himself by yes. now. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, so, he's most right people there. with that. Yeah, he's getting there. So, yeah, uh, I, I think I, I look around and go, okay, that's more or less acquiescence. Um, <laughs> and uh, not entirely. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily. Buoyed by the uh, response. Buoyed? Buoyed. Yeah. Can't remember if I can pronounce that word or if I'm saying it wrongly. Buoyed? Uh, anyway, yeah. 
buried. buried. Like a buried. Yeah, anyway, buried by that response. But he, he's, you know, at least sort of... Um... You know, sufficiently okay with it. It's not. It's like okay, they'll they'll do it. They'll go along. Um, I'm not being told. No. Oh. Um, so that that's probably sufficient for like to go. You know, just sort of start nodding a bit and go. Just um, tell us what we need to do. She just stands there for like maybe fifteen seconds of utter silence, and uh, you remember her saying, "You will have to travel to the vault on Eox." And then there's okay. Like another massive silence. I haven't been in here. <laughs> yes, I believe the phrase would be a lifetime ago. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that! that. Uh, oh god, she go <laughs> Gresham me. She absolutely <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> No, that's Rachel. Don't worry, I've already, ta I've already taken 100 damage, don't worry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um the, oh my lord. If she's got uh, minus yeah. damage, let's take attack her now, boys. So, um, <laughs> you remember the battle I, going um, badly, Zora? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I would... So, I think the word vault is maybe a bad connotation as well. I want to say archive instead yes. of vault, because I think if I say vault, it makes it sound like the, uh, the Abadar vault, and... Yeah. I think yeah, like as soon as you said <laughs> vote, I was like, oh god, here Six's we go. It's going to go complete mental collapse. Yeah. <laughs> so, Zig and Blutwoods. I want to say that there is a... Um, I'll, I'll add more detail to that then, I think, just to try and differentiate it a bit more, Freeze. But she says, you will have to travel to Eox and gain access to the Electroencephalon Archive. <laughs> ah, yes, the Electrobrains. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, our heads. Um... Are you familiar with this device? Uh, can I roll culture? Uh, it would be mysticism. Mysticism? Mm -hmm. That's the fucking four, Ryan. That's a four. I'm not familiar with it. I don't even know what words are anymore. Nope, I, I don't think you know that, but MD's welcome to roll uh, mysticism if they um, want to have a go at one. <laughs> Electroencephalon. Yeah, why not? I'm trying to think if I, like there's now any keep in mind it's, would... it's in relation to the Eoxian bone sages, so there is the justification for your role. Do you have any reason to have learned some obscure mystical knowledge about the Eoxian bone sages? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I'll try sure. it. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd lecture uh, on, uh, <laughs> on, yeah, on bone sages and obscure mysticism. <laughs> Mr. Obscuricism. Oh, fuck me. Those are some nice rules. Particularly. You so. joined the party? I, yeah. I want to roll. But, uh. <laughs> roll 20 is. Your biggest enemy mm -hmm. recently, apparently. It is. Is I'm it only this fantastic. game, or is it your other games that this is happening in? My other ones are being alright, generally. Um, I don't like the dice, but the dice like me. Except the reverse of that, but I, I wanted to make it go along with the lyrics too. You've um, got to believe in the heart of the dice. So what was the song? It's not even I don't like, like the our, drugs, um, the drugs like our maps are particularly taxing either, is it, currently? So, mm. no. I have no excuses. I was going to say, I don't look forward to having a combat at some point if we, we lose a, a, right. a, a, a weird. Do -do -do -do. I will make it work. Okay. If needs be, I will steal the computer from all. Computer. Uh, uh, okay. But, but yeah, so at some point maybe there's been a discussion. Maybe during that the year of uh, why is Lyco working for a bondage? Um, obviously how Zig knows this will be a slightly different, um, but maybe there was conversations after the fact as well. Maybe there wasn't, but... For whatever reason, Zig is aware of this information separately to how Zora is aware of the information, if that makes sense. 
Sora and okay. Lyco yeah. maybe have had these conversations, but Zig just maybe remembers it from a bizarre text in the library of the uh, Solar Order, right? Um, yeah. I, I reckon it'll be one of those... Um, Zora probably knows it from the war. No. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was probably where I was getting Zora's knowledge from, his war knowledge, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I think maybe um, it's it's one of those not studying the thing you're supposed to be studying. Mm-hmm. Um, well, it's one, one of the forbidden books, right? So Yeah, it's like, yeah, you're not allowed to go here uh, unless you are, you know, radiant exelon or higher, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and uh, so Zig obviously it has to be 200 watts or higher to read these books <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, and Zig obviously went well I mean as a 30 watt bulb like yeah no I'm, I'm qualified you know, yet I'm, I'm, go- I'm going in there and I'm reading those books that's where he learnt to you know um, break people's minds with magic um, yeah you were just reading the main link book that had some parts redacted so you didn't know whatever the safety protocols were um, yes so, uh, no one would ever be foolish enough to do it without the safety protocol. We'll just redact them. Um, but yeah, and weird, uh, this is probably from your time on trying to fucking black market stuff on EOX back in the day of being X5, right? Um, yeah. Like, you were... Yeah, we'll start with Zig. Zig, you read books about stuff you shouldn't have read, and you were probably yeah. put in Naughty Corner for that quite significantly. You were probably lectured at uh, for like a week about the the power and danger of knowledge, right? And love. And uh, yeah, for the most part, this is possibly completely new to Lyco, which kind of makes sense um, insofar as the war, obviously. So, Sora, I'll start with you. <laughs> when you were trained by Matva, in the Obsidian Star, I um, keep wanting to say Black Star or the Obsidian Order. But, I um, don't know, why is the Obsidian Order coming in my head for It's because it's Deep Space well. Nine. Um, Garrick okay. used to be part of it, and uh, or is part of it, I guess, is a better way of putting that. But yeah, the Obsidian Star is oh, a... Yes. I know, right, sorry, every day, but I mean, it's Deep Space Nine, if you haven't watched it by now, like, just go watch it all now and enjoy it. But anyway, so... You were told that fighting a bone sage is the first wave of wasting time. The bone sages don't necessarily care about losing their physical form. They are tied to an electroencephalon. It's a phylactery. <laughs> So well, Colin, maybe savvy enough yeah, to well, answer. Yeah, it's a <laughs> so, It's yeah, it's the equivalent of a technology hybrid magic item phylactery. Uh, so, any attack on bone sages would purely be to stem the tide. Yeah, like it's literally a killing time exercise, um, because you'd want to target the electroencephalon. Uh, Zig, how much knowledge you have about what an electroencephalon is, is a device that lets bone sages exist beyond one form. So I think maybe Zig saw it as, you know, the equivalent of backing up your data, right? Yeah. Um, In the sense that he did neither. Yeah. And... uh, (laughs) Then you've got a uh, weirds kind of memories of Mix Five, and it was probably the thing that would have been the most requested a black market item ever. Just got a picture of him getting a knackered old one and just wiping the memory on it. Just, just yeah, just like mind <laughs> like wiping. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, just hold some magnets up to these things. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's good to go. Yep. So yeah, like. This is the type of thing that you were aware of by other people requesting it and it being mm-hmm. a bit Holy Grail-esque in the sense that people debate their existence, right? But the fact that bone sages seem to be eternal is a big deal since 
whatever happened at Yox happened hundreds of years ago or thousands of years ago, and nobody's really sure. So, yeah. And the fact that there's been a static number of bone sages until recently? Yeah. It does seem like... I guess that's why they wanted the item, right? Because they wanted to discover how they cheated death. As they it wanted to live forever. Yeah, right, and obviously rich exotic item dealers and requesters probably would be like, yeah, I'll, hey. give, I'll, I'll, I'll give you like loads of money if you can get me an electroencephalon. And you're like, sure, buddy. How about also a unicorn? You know? But I'm actually now questioning whether unicorns are in this world. I am. Yeah. Which, there are some kind of creature, but it's not a unicorn, but it is a, the equivalent, the Starfinder equivalent. That's good to me. Yeah, but like, yeah, you... You're aware of it being the Holy Grail, so maybe this seems a bit like somebody telling you go get the Holy Grail, which is maybe a bit dumb, right? Sure, I'll just get on that. Yeah, whereas for Zig, it's go find that the external hard drive, and for Zora, it's uh, go end the war. Right? Zora, maybe? Muted? Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, uh, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. So, okay. yeah, that's um, what an electroencephalon is. And Lyco, you just glaze over a little bit, and they're like, I don't know where that is, and Sindahil never mentioned that. Uh, okay, so I, uh, I guess I'll look around the party again. Not meeting here, he genuinely would look to see yeah, if no, anyone yeah. was like, mm -hmm. um, do we know where one of those is? <laughs> Weird, it's just like <sighs> nods and then shakes his head. Uh, your call would... tone keeps going as well, like as if you're getting like message after message after message, like oh. I open up. It's hard to read the first message because more messages keep popping up and they're all from CC. Just, slow down, slow down, CC. It slow. just says I want it. Over and over yeah. again. Everybody wants it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know what that is. Um, okay. There are also some doodles we, of what he thinks it might look like. We need to retrieve <laughs> this. Uh, you said there was a time frame. And this is uh, aimed at Ramasethu? Yeah. I... Yeah, so you remember the conversation of her saying the time frame will be the stability of the Pact Worlds. Tectolanus has not stopped, nor will he, until he achieves what he wishes from the Vesk. The Vesk are merely a tool to expedite his grand plan. I don't see why you're worried. We'll just get a time machine while we're at it. <laughs> Rees diaper. You hear <laughs> screaming from under the mask. It's her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. And do you have any ideas where we could even begin to look for this? She said, like, she said already. Oh, did she? Yeah. Very, very like, nice. okay, oh, no, the vault, the, uh, the, 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 the electroencephalon archive on Eox. Very cool. Cool. So, so I'd catch up, part, yep, but yep, that's I, it. I, I just think I'm right. It's cool. okay. <laughs> yep, it's okay. That's what you remember her saying. Yep. Very <laughs> cool. Okay. I remember. So, yeah. yeah. I remember. Uh, I think we'll. Who? Do you respond to obviously like weirds? Like, yeah, we'll just get you a time machine while we're at it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like raised eyebrow. But, um. um uh, but other than that, I'm I'm, I'm taking this completely at face value because mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, and I'm trusting my crew to based on their reaction, and she seems to be being completely serious about it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so you know, like was probably pretty ga good at gauging from context whether he should take something seriously or not, uh, and whether or not it's wise to admit he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh. So having asked sort of about the time scale, 
Uh, and she gave you the vaguest fucking answer possible, yeah, right? I know. <laughs> um, but it is, the answer is like, it's clear enough that you know it's okay, mm. so it's not like you have 70 minutes. It's like, yeah, things are going to get worse the longer it takes. Yes. I follow. You can maybe uh, say why she also was like, why are you waiting to come see me? I know a you're critical on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, there might be a sort of tipping point where things get irreversibly bad, but it would never really be clear until you were looking back with, like, with retrospect, you wouldn't ever know what that was until it happened, really. Mm -hmm. um, so we can't really know exactly when we have to do this for. So that's fair. We've just got to work as fast as we can. So I think he would ask, so um, we have a ship coming and some matters to resolve on this planet in order to to prepare for our next steps. Your um, ship is in orbit. And she could let you remember her like saying that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you're ahead of us then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I just have to we... know it's ahead of us. <laughs> 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 Can you help us expedite matters? I've had an inquiry from a rather <sighs> dramatic let, let, drums. Let me just describe him as off-putting character, but one who is absolutely desperate for Yaxine technology. Yes, uh, Bob. You know of him. I know of his attempts upon my ship. And if then you can use. Go you yeah. now remember way more dead people on the way yeah. to here <laughs> like as if you'd seen them like fall over and just like be ravaged by time it's probably really disturbing if there's anything you can spare small arms trinkets they may not necessarily be much to arm us with, but anything that would appease him would make it make it easier for us to arm ourselves. Um, he's clearly a man with access to a lot of uh, spectacular ta tech, but not your tech. And, uh, well, I don't think it would take much to open up some new avenue. I, uh... And what do you gain from this exchange of my Aeoxian technology? <sighs> a sense of... Uh... No, not a sense of even so. Legitimacy. It would prove I was able to procure him things he wants, uh, which would make him inclined to offer us better equipment more reasonable prices which would mean we could well frankly arm ourselves better I suspect you should actually like stop need like, to be you armed. see her physically move as if she's looking at the entire crew and then like her head turns to stare at you and again you hear as a memory her saying your plan involves extra complications that are irrelevant to my desires. Do you require equipment for this task to be undertaken? It strikes me that... Tick, tick. What was his name? Tick, tick. Uh, it's, it's, on, it's, it's on the screen. Like, I don't know why you're not looking oh, at the I, screen. I closed this window, <laughs> sorry. I, cl I closed this window. I don't like extreme twin. Um, Tectolanus is likely to be monitoring any attempts to interfere. And moreover, if Demogesh has even an inkling that there's a situation which he can exploit, and this sounds like something he can exploit, because it's further justification for war with the, the Pact Worlds. 
he won't let us go unimpeded either. Uh, like the above the bridge, the, the, like the depress in the bridge in the middle. Above that, there's like a massive star map that appears, and she like turns to stare at it again, and she says, "Would it surprise you to learn that Tectolanus and Demogesh are in orbit above Triaxis?" Uh, obviously, brings up the, the the solar system and then highlights, you know, Triax. Oh. There may be uh, another complicating factor then. There is no Bone Sage presence on Eox currently, save for one. How is that one likely to respond to our arrival? There's like silence for ten seconds. Purely. You anticipate we'll have to fight? I in fact guarantee this. Ends my desire to better arm myself. What? But what about if we were to perhaps fail and be found with your equipment? My equipment will not serve you against the Vault Guardian to the Archives, as you would imagine. And she's Same reason it wouldn't work in me. You remember her nodding. <clears throat> I, think I, get, I was going to say it gets a flashback, but Calum gets a flashback to the Vault Guardian. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, like it's again. I know I'm using similar terms. Really, it's like the 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 protector of the archive, right? Yeah. Like, right, but I like the idea that the term is like bringing this terror to to mm -hmm. like, <laughs> pure fucker, like just unknowingly terrifying. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like she's just passively being hitting all the right notes to annoy him. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> the trauma. Song. Um, I guess I'll respond then with. Um... Perhaps there is a reason for Bob's existence. I just remember her staring at you silently. He has a point. If I mean, a supply of weapons that would be effective against the undead would be pretty useful. What we have, it's got us this far, but... My concern regarding that creature is that he does not have the equipment to reach this ship. How do you expect him to help you breach the archives? No, I don't. I expect to help us <laughs> arm up for when we do. I would not tell that. If he could not breach this ship, he will definitely not breach the archive. Then to have our like Sorry? I would respond he did it to have a Lyco. <laughs> no. But Lyco is not the first Burai solicited by Bob. No, that was the impression I got. You are a rare creature in this but universe. But not unique. No. Then we need to look elsewhere for armaments. I would recommend a path divergent to Bob's. I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> Anything specific? Who'd you say that to? 
Tyrannus, I think. She responds and says, again, as you remember it, you were asked here for your significance to Sindael. Beyond that, you will be on your own. Me and Sindael were not allies, but we were not enemies. We merely were. I understand. As well bring him back, just because why not? You want to remain uninvolved. That's reasonable. I am already involved. Well, I suppose maybe it's a case of plausible deniability. <laughs> I don't know, but my actions you're obviously... will be remembered, like yours will be. For that, I must remain. That's it. That's all she says. Okay. Okay. Well. That's all we will go about it. Um, before we go, mention Triaxis. Well, the holograph is still in the middle of the room, so yeah. Gives me a, mm, a sense of foreboding, I guess, because... Well, do you know the Black Dragon Hamani? By reputation alone. He has some involvement in this bizarre ongoing affair. He has connections to rogue elements of the Aspis Consortium. He has connections to Drow. Uh, not wholly positive. <laughs> um, and clearly he has some connection to the uh, artifacts. artifacts. Which Abadar were concerned about. There was a egg in his possession. I don't know exactly what his role is, but he's caught up in any number of... Was this the solar egg or the void egg? It was the that latter. Probably, se probably sends a bit of a chill up um, Zig's spine. <laughs> I think, like, when Lyco initially mentions, like, the egg, I think at, at that point, um, I think I, his his sort of concern for the safety of the, the solar egg just now kind of comes flooding back because I think he's not really been focused on the fact that it has just been left um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. back on uh, Daza. It's uh, not on Daza, it's in the shuttle. Oh, in the shuttle, sorry. Which is like on the um, outskirts of um, Hive Market. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, sorry, that's right. Okay. But the, the, the fact that nobody's with it. Um... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or are they? No, don't say that, please. It's a reasonable concern. <laughs> mm -hmm. I um, agree. So I think, I think, like, because he hasn't thought about it, and obviously Zig hasn't been with the egg at all for a substantial amount of time, um... <clears throat> Yeah, I think when Lyco initially mentions the egg, he's, that all that sort of concern and worry about the egg comes flooding back, and he's a bit kind of um, overwhelmed and frazzled by that. And then what is um what did Lyco say back? Uh, uh, he, he said, you know, just uh, it was uh, it was the latter, because she said uh, the the void yeah. egg. Say. And then she replies, she says, Is this a complication that you are concerned about? <laughs> I, uh, 
I don't claim to know enough to say where he will pop up next, but I don't think his role is, is played out in this. I would be shocked if we didn't if we didn't see him surfacing again and whatever's brewing. She kind of just looks at you for a bit. And she says, If this is a distraction, perhaps you should remove it from your path. I nod, <laughs> a firm nod of agreement. Um, okay, I, 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 I feel she's certainly made her position clear, and I don't think she's necessarily going to offer us a great deal of assistance here, okay? So... It depends what you ask her, right? Like, she clearly obviously wants to help as much as she can, right? Because she wants whatever the hell she wants to... I suppose I could just fly ask, then... Is there, a, you know, maybe not quite that bluntly, but like, before we set out on this path, is there anything you can offer to assist us? What did you have in mind? That's a good question. Um, what do we, what do we want that we think she might be able to provide? Money. It doesn't sound like arms are an option. Money. Because she's made it pretty clear. <laughs> Is she the right person to ask for money? I don't it, think so. She, she's I made it pretty so. clear that basically, like, look, I'm not really armed to take down the undead. I'm armed to create. <laughs> yeah. uh, so... It's also just that, like, fighting the undead with undead stuff is, like, poor synergy, right? Like... Yeah. Yeah. Some of it may work, but you'd be better off just shooting at them. But also, we're going to call that thing that, the thing that will be in your path is the archivist from now on. Let's just have that be the thing you remember. Um, archivist. The archivist. Um, archivist. Oh, nice. I like it. Um, it's good. Strong. Um, strong. <laughs> but yeah, so like, you have like a chance to like ask a bone sage that seems to be pretty, pretty chill for stuff, I guess, right? Um, also, it seems like she's referencing a ship in orbit, also. Yeah, so she seems to have some sort of knowledge of uh, Alice's impotent arrival. Impot impot <laughs> impot <laughs> impot <laughs> impotent arrival. Listen, impotent doesn't oh, necessarily Jesus. mean that one specific thing. Or... She could be arriving really badly. I mean, that doesn't... is also possible, because it is Alice, right? Or... Right. <laughs> or she's talking about the yeah, Azure Flare. Right. Yeah, possibly that's true. Mm -hmm. Since she did sense your arrival when you got in orbit. Oh, oh you've got a shot. Oh my god. She probably does mean that, actually. So, um, I'm just saying that you yeah. don't know. But we don't know. We... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. I don't really know what specifically to ask her for, but I've got no idea. Like... Yeah, if it's not sort of weaponry or armor. Yeah, armor? she does this seem. I could do with an upgrade. I love how you're still probably wearing the Sindial logo, right? Yes, I am, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's maybe why you've been shoulder checked by every day. Um. Any like a wedding? You ask for three wishes. <laughs> <laughs> that will cost him money, remember? <laughs> uh. Let me see, because I was that—that that was something I'd, I'd put together for the shopping list. What three uh, wishes? Was the specialist no, specialist grave mantle? 
Um, what level are we at the moment? Eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't level up. Yeah, it's just not. So, yeah. just, you'll <laughs> so finish the game I, on level eight. Yeah. Le- level ten is not out with my. Uh... Yeah. So specialist grave mantle. Uh, would be something I could potentially procure mm-hmm. if you'd be willing to armor me. But that's just me. I'm to to go to war. <laughs> I'm good to shoot turning bones into weapons. It's true. I would guess she's probably better than most people. She has a bone sage, she's right? She's a bone sage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to answer that question. I'm really glad you all got it. <laughs> so I would just um, go... Here, start emptying out a load of dragon bone. <laughs> yeah, do you want to actually just do that in character? Yeah, like, just, yeah. just turn this up. It's like, yeah, can you turn this into something? Like, maybe you don't my... just like jump <laughs> all on the floor, maybe like shore a piece instead. Oh, yeah, to pull out a big piece of spine and throw it out on the floor in front of her. Just, <laughs> oh, god, please. Can we turn that into something? Some, uh, to deal with that black dragon problem? I think you, um, I look mildly horrified. You Obvious. remember her like leaning down to like look at it and kind of inspect it somewhat, but obviously you have never seen her move. Um, and she says, "What did you have in mind?" I prefer ranged combat, but I don't think we're above melee weaponry. And you wish this to kill a dragon? Yes. I've got more. <laughs> and she kind of just, again, the group remember her, like, reviewing you all. Craft is something within my talents, yes. Was this all? Misinterpreting that question, he, I start to dump out the rest of the bone. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Yeah. Yep. Uh, also, I mean, she's gonna need it at some point. So. Yep. And I think um, as you start doing that, like, crew appear and just start taking it. Creepy, but cool. A fashion. Like, because <laughs> like this whole time she's still staring forward now, right? Like when the the, the hollow map thing appeared. Mm. Even if you remember. The even if you like remember, it's very Borg, isn't it? And um, yeah, is it? Sorry, I go for it. Is anyone else going to sort of request in specifically, or because I think Lyco would sort of like to linger a second and speak to her one to one? Can't think of anything urgent. No, I don't. I don't think Zig's just going to straight up ask her for nine grand to buy to buy him the armor he can't afford. Tempting as it may be. Um, I mean, so, like, it's not even nine grand. I, I'm, 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 I'm toying with the idea. I'm a bit like saying perhaps like if she could help with the demo guest problem after. Mm. Why don't you then? Right? I mean, could when else support, are you gonna have a right? chance? Right? Like, capital. Oh, why do we not have that goal in about to get allies? God damn it! Just, just you know, just ask her to kill some money. There we go. But um. I think perhaps. she's a pretty non-interventionist in that way. Perhaps once we're done with us, you could maybe help us with taking care of Demogash. I'm not in the habit of being a caretaker. What about murder? I think that's what <laughs> Wow. <I'm>... Wow. <laughs> Death is not the end of everyone's journey. I thought but, uh, you would know this more than most. Yes, but hopefully it can be the end of Demogashes. I have sources that tell me that if Demogash is taken out of the picture, then there's a good chance it could pull back the Vesk encroachment also. Perhaps the... What's the word I'm looking for here? Like, people who want to achieve, what are they called? Ambitious, that's it. Ambitious. Um, she says, perhaps the ambitious amongst the vacuum that would create 
may be worse. Have you considered this, or does your vision fall short? Perhaps. You're st it's still matter. covered by, like, you're maybe looking through the fingers <laughs> of uh, yeah, yeah. CC at this point. <laughs> it's so comical, like, <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. I like the, the, the pure jovial uh -huh. tone when it's this big serious uh -huh. moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, perhaps, but as far as I can tell, Demogesh is one of the most brutal of us. And who would replace him? Would it be yourself? I would shake my head. Generally. I am um, CC grips tighter. Only acting in the interest of my crew, and I don't feel like seeing my own people implode at the rule of Demogish. A noble aspiration. Perhaps. You should perhaps consider a career. She leaves it there. As if implying you have no career right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but that is definitely the vibe she's giving you, is maybe go do something with your life and don't just run around the galaxy, right? It's definitely shade, right? 100%. Yeah, you know. wow. 100% shade. Like, but it's also... Oh, is that a semi-compliment? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, it's, you know, right, take it as you wish. I, um, she then uh, says... Demogesh is a political problem. These do not concern me. However, ripples will cause problems. You would have to ensure Demogesh's replacement was suitable. I trust the people that told me about this situation to handle the situation with more... Uh... That's what I'm looking for. Um, yes. Yeah, just say finesse. Yeah. The people you speak of stood by when he took power. And they have not removed him yet. I do not share your faith in them. This is why I take action now. And she kind of like... Like, you remember her looking at you at that point? <laughs> um, yeah. Sindael is required for things to progress more smoothly. The Alibrian is my concern. My efforts will be focused there. Very well. I kind of get abused in all words, like basically. Mm -hmm. I look to the captain there. Captain, may I have a moment with the Bowen Sage? She just waves her hand and it's just you and her alone. Like, you, like you're not even sure if you're still in the same version of the bridge anymore. Right. You <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> thing is, so Zora, you don't remember this. Oh, okay, fair. Um, uh, you wished privacy. Do you not trust you. in your crew? Trust. It's a vampire. No, it's not about trust. I uh, obviously you're aware of nature, so you're aware of. Well, perhaps you're not. I don't really know how many of us are out there and how many of us experience it the same way, but... You speak of the Burai. Yeah. Are you aware Sindael created the Burai? He didn't think to tell me that. Hmm. Just stay Gradually... <laughs> I have been well I guess the word he would use is uh, evolving yes this was his plan for the Barai to be evolution from us so 
so I'm going to continue changing, aren't I? If you were a successful experiment. Um. Right. <laughs> I <laughs> would say, Joe. <laughs> I get, I, I like, creep. Wait, left left my right arm up and just sort of look at the forearm and then the blade will emerge, mm -hmm. and, and just like staring at the blade. Yeah, I think I think I was a pretty successful. Then does it matter what you turn into if you believe you to be a success? Confidence well, in one's own abilities reinforces those. I am... Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable in this form. I just don't know... We seem to live quite a long time. And by the time that that ends... I, I don't know if I'm going to be something I would recognize as Lyco Quinn. I think you have left that form behind quite some time ago, Lyco Quint. You hold on to the name, but the form is very different. And then she waves like her hand over like your arms and they both extend. <laughs> you are something quite different. Perhaps your name should reflect this, if that is important to you. Unless you wish to remember who you were. Memory is important to me. I... I am who I am, however changed. I felt different since coming here. I don't know if it's just been your summons or the bizarre nature of Daz or, or what have you, but I suspect I'm changing again. Have you seen how far others have changed? How... Hmm... The Barai are not my concern. For this I am sorry I cannot assist you. There is but one of us amongst the Bone Sages who can. <laughs> it's fucking typical with it. <laughs> you know, if I didn't have enough motive, bring him back anyway, this would... I almost wonder if he sort of saw it coming. He did have many gifts of sight. You could indeed be a pawn in his game. Maybe he knew he would come to rely on you meeting me here. While I remember, he can predict. Maybe time doesn't seem to work quite the same way for him as it is for, does for me. <laughs> we are all different in that regard. Time if... and Sindael were more like warring siblings <laughs> than to the rest of us. We merely persist against time's best efforts. Unfortunately, your kind and less are ravaged by it. It is why this ship remains untouched by their hands. And again, there's the vibe of the people that tried to like assault mm. the ship that have just been literally ravaged by time. I'll have no dealings with him. I see your point. You may consort with who you wish, so long as 
my goal is completed. If you undertake this, I will remember your promise to me. If you do not wish to do this, I will find another. I... I will. I will. And the rest of them... I believe in them. And I believe they have enough reason to do it. From what you've said, from what we already know, parties involved, I... Yeah. You're I believe in my crew. Your black dragon problem could be greater than you know. If this Hamani has the void egg, perhaps he is collecting them. Yeah. There is That's a third egg. Are you aware of this? No. Third egg? Of what? Kind. Or maybe of what nature would be a better way to put it. She waves her hand and like the, the map <coughs> zooms in on Akaton. <laughs> and she says, While you have brought the solar egg to Akaton, I apologize, but I took this from you. And she like waves her hand again and it zooms in an and it brings up Daza. And she gestures to the city. Okay. The artifact at the center of Daza that powers Daza. Huh. pre gap technology. It's not technology at all. Or it's technology to harness. The facility was pre-gap, as you remember. This was designed to harness the power. This particular vessel gives off a lot of radiation. You think you might... Seems reasonable, yeah. If he knows, then Daza is a sitting duck, right? It's not like we can move the power plant. Um, Most things can be moved. But it's likely he'll come to Akaton. It is unlikely he would survive the encounter with direct exposure to the third egg. <sighs> The Alibrian. Many. Very possibly could. And there's just a sense of her dread with that. I'm going to come here. If the Alibrian is aware of the solar egg, which has been moved through time. I have seen this. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like not only Sindael has this gift. Chell looks at you in a way that implies, you know, was this you? You know? I have uh, <laughs> moved with him, but it's the Yusoki that's responsible for that. And just looks at you and says, could you explain further? I will not pretend to understand what his relationship is with time or the sun, but uh, he's connected with it, and he's brought it with him. Perhaps if you can complete the task of retrieving Sindael's electroencephalon, if you can return it to me, I can reforge him. If this task is complete, perhaps I can gift you with the origin 
of the three of them. Which implies the eggs. Yeah. The task will be complete. You ask for a promise and you have it. There is the equivalent of you feeling like she smiled, but there's no way you could even indicate that. Okay. Like, like <laughs> the, the memory of it's even fading, right? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring meta in in a way that's not meta, because this is my beautiful skill as an <laughs> RPG. Um, uh, what I'm gonna do is this. I um, notice my <laughs> sigil. Displeased your crew, servants. I'm not sure what to call them. I don't even think she responds. I think there's like a, just a deliberate non-response to that. If I am doing this, then if it pleases you, I'll. Do so bearing yours instead. Pleasure is not or a motivation of mine. That luxury was lost long ago, along with my sigil. It has passed beyond memory, and I wish it to stay there. Then You may wear whichever colors you wish. Perhaps no sigil at all would be best. <laughs> if after all... She things... not say that, yeah. Yeah. You, uh... I assume you're well stocked with, uh, grave mantles. I found the armor very pleasing. He smells himself at his choice of pleasing, having mm. just started going through it. Do you Could wish you to know how there? they are created? When I was presented one with one before, it never occurred to me that it was different than most armor. But then perhaps yes. that knowledge is best kept to myself. Well, now that I know there's something to know, of course I'm curious. Do I make a will save? <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I think I clicked on it. Oh, wait a second. I'll yeah, click it's again. okay. Don't mind waiting. Don't mind if you click right. it again, because we'll just take the first one. Cool, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really difficult to stay standing at perhaps the horror that you witness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like people volunteer for this, which is the more worrying part. Okay. So, yeah, I think, like, maybe you throw up in your mouth. Okay, lovely. Um, he probably chokes a bit mm. as he starts slowly right down. Still. Uh. If it will aid you in your task, I can provide. I... I thank you. She takes off the kind of bluish cloak that she wears, and you see that it was never a bluish cloak in the first place, it was some horrible weird shadowy piece of flesh. And okay. And, yeah, <laughs> hands it to you. Um... I guess, like, because the way it sits in her is, like, over her shoulders, I guess. Oh, it definitely changes, like, form and your perception of it is a bit different. It's like she yeah. you, re you only ever remember what she wants you to remember, right? 
Not that she's obviously completely armed and operational. So yeah, she has Oh, wait, right. hold on. Right. Ah. See, I think we're slightly cross wires there. When I say, like, our grave map is the armor, right? Yeah. So that's, so is that a suit of armor? It's in the book, buddy. I honestly didn't read the lore description of it. Like the one I'm already wearing. You're, I love how you're asking for me, you don't know what it is. Well, yeah, because the, the way you described it as like an actual like sheaf of skin sounds like the other one, the one that I was looking to maybe get in the future, the necrotic mantle. See, that's where I've become confused. I know, Grave Mantle, Specialist, level 10. Page yeah, 68 okay. Of the right. Yep. Yeah, so the same thing. I, I actually don't think I ever read the lore description of it. And Oh, my book's slightly bashed. Anyway, um, right, okay, just because, like, I think the, the, cause of the Grave Mantle, uh, the, the, the Necro... Fuck me. Necrotic Mantle yep. is, like, a sort that, of, like, a big skin, so it, right. It's a big spooky cape, but this yeah. is a big spooky fleshy keepy thing that forms okay. into your grave mantle when you get as I, as sort of as i put it in it sort of forms over it. it's almost like she recrafted something she had on her right okay that's cool mm -hmm. like it adheres to what i was already wearing and yeah. shapes it mm -hmm. okay i like that yep. um i suppose i'll kind of like lower my head kind of somewhat solemnly because this is kind of a, a thing like it's I'm not quite sure he knows. Arise, Darth what? Vader. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't know quite sure how he knows how to respond at the moment, but it, there's a feeling of solemnity and and yeah, uh, sort of quietly thank her, you know, like you know, head slightly bowed. Your decisions on, today right? will be remembered, like O'Quinn. I think with that, maybe you just find yourself back with the cruise if, yeah, as I said, it's for everyday else, like, she mostly just kind of waved her hand at everyday <laughs> when Lyco asked for privacy, and then CC kind of waves one of his six hands back vaguely at her. I think my armour looks different and probably freakier, yeah. but I've not decided exactly how yet. Oh yeah, it's probably... But feel free to notice people. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a lot, a lot different than what it was two seconds ago, but she basically waves the hand and he's in new armor, essentially. How does everybody else respond to the no seconds of time that passed? <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, Lyco just becomes, I guess, more necrotic looking. It's probably the best way to put it. Um, more, uh, more Eoxian. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing, nothing troubling there at all. I think, I think Zig would actually probably scan everyone and make sure nobody else has changed. <laughs> um, I like that. That is very <laughs> sweet. You know, make sure the captain's still not, still the captain. Make sure you know, weird hasn't changed anymore. <laughs> um, CC is CC. Yeah, I don't, you yeah, know. Weird. I think the only difference is CC is waving to mimic her wave. Um, mm. Well, two of his hands are still trying to hold on to Zora's head <laughs> but yeah and obviously with Nico being on mute here no. we... yeah. uh, maybe Zig could check himself as well I, I, would, I, would, I would say uh, just like what I guess uh, dated <laughs> question where I raised raised eyebrow <laughs> just joking I, I look, look at him with a raised eyebrow myself I think uh, uh, I don't mind do you, wish, <laughs> do you wish transport back to your vessel? I would... Do we have to go back to the hive market for anything? It would speed things up. Yeah. And we always can go back to the hive market yeah, if we yeah. want to. It's nearby. Uh, so we can maybe call them the final order if it is actually not. But, you, know, you have a companion is. within the city of Deza. Do you wish me to return them to you also? That would also be 
fantastic. And save a lot of time. Don't know that I'd say fantastic, but yeah. Uh, are, are we sure we don't want to just know about that ourselves? Because she is in a hospital. Mm. <laughs> it's just like, and Harsh goes, yeah, and that would be really helpful. Harsh cuts to like a zombie invasion swarming Daza, tearing apart every medical facility till they find the drug queen. <laughs> but this might, this could avoid the hospital bill. Mm, this is true. Um, I was mean, just going to say, the um, hospital bill's think... already been paid, by the way. Any well, further bills? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think Zig would um, probably actually just just say, "Is she? Can you tell if she's okay to be moved now? Is she?" I think he would just leave it at that. I think he just doesn't even respond. I'm just sort of looking to the captain to, to decide in this matter. Out of character, it would though, be I really think hard, eh? it might be. I mean, do we want to just be back on board the vessel, or are we happy to do that? So we need to be heading to Daza, don't we? To sort of stuff out. Yes. So we might as well go to ship and fly out of Daza, I suppose, if that's the case. If we don't want to yeah. risk transport. But at the same time. It depends mm -hmm. what you just want to do, because our offer is to put you back onto your vessel. And what do you have on Daza that you carry? Or sorry, Akaton, I guess, is a better way of putting it right. Well, we need to sweat on Daza and... Uh... I mean, if we're going raiding places, meeting up with my old colleagues might not still be a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, we mm -hmm. might. We're probably still going to need to earn some money, get some guns. I think. Seems like finish. a bit of bad sort of place to do it. If we need. I think like fi finishing up some, tying up some loose ends, getting some money to arm up. Also, what if she you sticks know. us on the cruise line and we don't have a shuttle? Yeah, that's true. That's weird. And, the, and also the solar egg? Well. Yeah. So I do not want to lose track of that. So, uh, we could ask to be sent to our vessel on um, outside Hive Market. Yeah. That's probably the best bet. Mm. So, what did you just ask for then? What do you say to her? Geezer lift. Geezer <laughs> lift, pal. Um, seriously though, what what do we say? Because I think um, uh, I think being, it'd dropped, be... being dropped back in hive market would be best. It's probably bad okay. wording though. Um, <laughs> could <laughs> you perhaps get his transport back to hive market? And she says to you, are you willing to share this information from your mind? Um, wouldn't be the first time. Huh. <laughs> you feel like somebody's just like through, like, through like a ghost hand into your brain and clutched tight as it's peeling through the layers of your mind. Okay, that's the first time. Lovely phrase, yeah. That's the first time. It's probably enough to knock you down to your knees if you fail a will save. Okay, okay, that's... This is the bravado Ooh. save, this isn't it, really? Yeah, there's a bravado save, man, it's the... It's the can I take it save? Probably not, let's face it, but let's go. Like... No, unfortunately not. But it's a versus fear. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it was, right? Um, yeah. okay. But yeah, it's like you kind of like fall to like, yeah, you like one knee, knee. Um, okay, as you like knees. clutch at your head. Um, and like, I think by that point, like, we've got CC who kind of like slides down your back instinctively to kind of like clutch on. Um, and then, yeah, like she says. I am aware of this location now. And she kind of just like... You know, you remember being helped up 
Sora, you don't know by who. You just remember being helped back up to your feet. I um, don't know if it was like random zombie guys that turned up and helped you. You don't know if it was her. Shina obviously never moved. Nobody else Come remembers that. The, the wacky horn that <laughs> fucking just clutched mm -hmm. my brain bits. Mm -hmm. Brain clutch hen. And then she says, I will make this no and then she kind of turns to the side and she like gestures with her open hand um, and you start to see like the room start to warp slightly like as if she's forming a portal and obviously some big green swirly bits start happening uh, and then there is a massive gunshot heard and the okay. portal just like vanishes and she turns like physically turns because she had to physically cast the spell obviously and you saw all that she kind of turns and she's like you all hear and remember her saying, what is the meaning of this? And then the camera zooms all the way down the corridor, the route you took, all the way outside, past some of these crew members just having their heads blown off. And it zooms all the way up the side of the kind of, the kind of basin, and then it just kind of like focuses on the end of like a glowing barrel of a gun. And then the camera zooms out slightly, and we've got a figure lying down with a big rifle and blue armor. We end the session there, folks. Blood, bloody hair. Yeah. Knew we were gonna have to deal with her before we left this fucking planet. <laughs> so, what would you like to name this session? Um, I'm just gonna spam a bunch of things into the thing. Okay. okay cool. I'm dead and loving it. <laughs> I don't imagine. I'm sorry, that was very Lyco heavy. I apologize. No, no. How dare you? I loved it. Rama says, says you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'm trying to find something that looks exactly how I'm picturing it, but obviously you're never going to get. It. I'm I'm thinking his armor looks a bit like a. Um, a bit like the Undead Legion armor. Stay on um, target. Name it first. Talk later. Okay. I think Dan <laughs> loving it was pretty good though. I don't see it typed. Mm, I'm just eating. Oh well. <laughs> um, I'm getting used to my new keyboard. I've only had it for like five hours. <laughs> oh, Anne! <laughs> It's a mechanical one as well, but I don't think it's been too audible. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. I mean, Do you know something, Callum? Thank you. This that is love. Like, much love to you. I was thinking that too. Hi. I just didn't want to see it because I thought it would be a classy bird. But it is like, that is definitely like a necromantics or like a tiger army song. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... How many fucking titles are there for this one? Electroencephalon. It's a fun word to say. Um, I'm gonna just take away the heart purely because it looks like I voted for that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, there's loads here, to be honest. Anything that stands out? Anybody got any other hmm. suggestions? Alex, anything? Um... My brain is slowing down, so... Uh, what if we yeah. slow down too? Yes. That's for all you whales out there. Speaking of whales, my <laughs> highest level Patreon <laughs> is for you. I was going to say that. <laughs> anyway, sorry, stay on target. So, um, what I'm about... Right, I know this might be a bit weird, but what about the promise? Because it was like all promising to like go and do all this, and she seemed pretty yeah. focused on that. Because there's a lot going on here with ideas. Uh, unless anybody's got anything else they want to put into the, the mix, but no. I, don't, I don't see I don't any votes for anything. So. It, that's because it's hard to vote. <laughs> I'll go with Colin's suggestion on this because it was mostly his shenanigans. Mm -hmm. 
you can. Have we got a vote for dead and loving it? That sounds like it. No. Yep, well, that's at least one vote. If I've got some Wait, support, I'm putting my way behind it. <laughs> I'm not backing down now. <laughs> well, no, what we're done. I'll not make it a tiebreaker. I'll, I'll get. I'll take dead and loving it as well. Dead and loving it. Fuck you, Zig. <laughs> Hey. Oh, I'm going to give that a bit. I don't know. I proved dead and living it. We're going to have a battle with oh. our dead and living it. Oh. Dead and living it. <laughs> well, currently there's no votes for dead and loving it. Currently, from what I can see. So, wow. we're, we're doing well. Wow. Um, you can call and proxy my vote. No. I have to push the button myself. You have to push the button. Um, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm that uh, guy. Sorry about that. Oh, hard, 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 hard life. Yeah. Hard, oh, hard, just, hard life. Let's just make it even. Attending. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, let's just, yep, where are we now? Right, so, who's who's still to vote? I think it's the tiebreaker, which will be... Alex? Dead and living it? <laughs> so many dead and living it. <laughs> I feel like I can't vote for myself, so I'm going to... Unvote there. But... Michael is dead and he is living it, so it's just... Yeah, yeah. I think dead and living it. There we go, we've got it. That's it. Done. Dead and living it. I'll type that in. Uh, which is good because the chapter title is already written for this this chapter, full enough. Um, right. Goals. Talk me through it. Who's coming well, to goals? Well, I haven't found... Ah... Uh, Super so thank him. Okay. Still happy to progress with that, or do you, do you want to change it? <sighs> it's getting difficult, but yeah, we'll try still. We're still kind of reading the moolahs. Uh, yeah, sure. Like, if you're planning to make some money like a ton, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, what was the one you'd mentioned? Right? What was it you were a bit... At one point, well, it doesn't matter, though, because... Okay. Yeah, but like, like I don't see it on the, our uh, our goal list of the Demogash one. Find allies to. Yes, 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 yes. Is that even? Probably wouldn't even be complete because she was well unwilling to do it, help us a bit anyway. So, uh, because it, she didn't uh, actually say that. She just said, <laughs> "How can you guarantee somebody better will be put in place?" Right. It's true. So it it's wasn't true. a no. It was a. He said, "Oh, vacuums and shit, boy." Yeah. Ooh. Boy, that, no one would ever see that. That was exactly how she sounded, yeah. Um, okay. It's so, canon now, boys. So, yeah, there was that. Um, right, okay, goal number two. Uh, see, that one feels like it's going to come up imminently next session. Right, okay. Um, well, you keep it then, if you want. Unless... Yeah, but also, I've got the point about dragon weapons, mm -hmm, which is quickly mm -hmm. progressing. Mm -hmm. Drag oh. weapons. Yeah. But again, it depends how long it will take till we hear back from her. Mm -hmm. So, I'll stick with what I've got for now. On the other hand, number two is a distant, distant goal. And uh, <laughs> it could maybe be a place. Which one? The one you're Establish talking about. healthy boundaries between Partium and Breros. That's the one you were okay. talking about, was it not? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Did we seriously? I thought you meant, like, oh, next session when we're back in... Well, fucking hell, yeah. Oh. We could get to Dazza and chance the queen I think I speak for everyone when I say no okay <laughs> I mean yeah we could we could I, I'm i just being a dick <laughs> so unlike you <laughs> I agree I, I can't wait till you have to tell the queen right so in her post medical state depending on how well she is right just so we went and spoke to a super high powered necromancer that we told you we were all against but the one that you saw in your brain that invaded you that you didn't like those people want us to go and bring one of them back to life, as it were. It's gonna be great. Listen, we'll introduce her to some people. She'll be someone else's prop. <laughs> um, I think that's what Weird's thinking just now. Is she is somebody else's problem just now, though. So the healthiest boundaries are planets apart. <laughs> the healthiest boundaries are the deepest. Are the deepest. Yeah. So anyway, mm. um, right. What about goal three? Then are we leaving goal two, I assume. Yep. Cool. Goal three. Uh, goal three feels like it was actually a pretty good chance of getting that done next session. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll cool. Put that one. Mm -hmm. 
And then goal four. It is done. It is, right. How nice. Look at that. Woo. So I need merely to insert cell, shift down. Yeah, we go, buddy. That's not... <laughs> I was searching for that earlier. It's a book. Um, not the, just... The Atrocity Archives. Like... <laughs> 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 and when I say a book, I mean it's Mark calling uh, autobiography. No, it's um uh, the Laundry Files. I've never read any of them, but they're supposed to be good. Uh, the first. Book. Right. Okay. Okay. And uh... Uh, I will come up with a new and uh, potent goal. Keep in mind, it doesn't. It's not solely needs to be you that comes up with a goal, right? It just it's just party members need to fill the goal slots and. If everybody else has one and you don't, then I believe you into making one. Um, sorry, encourage. Um, goal five. I mean, you say encourage. Hmm. Yes, discover why Edgar is or was an Akaton. Now, <clears throat> knowing that there's a third egg, not well, Zig not knowing there's yeah. a third egg, that doesn't. <laughs> hey. Callum knowing there's a third egg. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if uh, <clears throat> his palliness with Hamani led him to discover these sort of things. <clears throat> No, I'm wondering if that's got mm. anything to do with anything. Right? Mm. 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 Wheels Don't within like wheels it. upon eggs that are carefully balanced. Eggs within eggs. Mm -hmm. What came first? The egg yeah, or the other egg. Point. The egg, the, the egg, egg, or the, or the egg. egg. Um, uh, and the answer, of course, is Jesus. But, right, so here's... Right, so if, if you're thinking about um, that particular connection, right? Discover why Edgar is was an Akaton. Is it because of this brand new third egg scenario? Um, mm. If you think this, how it's always will you... the money of the third egg, isn't it? Right, the third egg is the deepest. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually a great title, but just not for this session because it hasn't really appeared or done anything yet, and we don't even know yeah. what it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But I think it will be a great title for a future session, like perhaps two sessions time, and then, mm. <laughs> when Ramaseth is phoning you, or... and like, why are you still on Akaton? I was, gonna say, I was gonna say knowing our progress, maybe uh, five sessions, two campaigns to later, ten sessions yeah. from now. Yeah, campaign two, the, the third elephant. Yeah. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. So, Great book. Zig, do you have yeah. an a way to uh, proceed with goal five? Not unless uh, Lyco starts to talk about. That's your assuming. Third eggs. That that is the connection. You that is assuming that is to... the connection, yes. Right. So, discover why Edgar is was. So, let's say Lyco told you everything, right? That doesn't say uh -huh. that's why Edgar's there, right? So, you knowing true. all that doesn't that complete true. that goal. So, do you intend to make sure before you leave Akaton, you are going to try and like track down the Edgar answer, or are you going to try and take that journey into space, right? Can you see my... Take it after mm. a long yeah. bitch once we deal with our next session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. theory, yeah. Edgar is just hired an assassin to kill this bitch because he's working with fucking Prickheed and Prickheed's chatty. That's so vague in this game. Well <laughs> put, put, sir. Hermani. <laughs> right, okay, Hermani. Because right. he, was, he, was he was in coats with Hermani, right? Uh, he play. left you the 11th hour with Hermani. Uh, so he's, he's, he's hired an assassin. Yeah, mm. but he, he he's, did he's remember. He did say he was off to try and kill Mo, right? Like he wanted to go fuck up yeah. Aspis because she fired him. In so far as you know, that's why I described him as a rogue element. Yes, yeah, he did, probably did deserve to be fired. Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. How does Zig feel about goal five? Because can you see why I'm saying this is why we discuss goals now? What's the goal you yeah. have, and is there an avenue to complete it still? I think the only avenue to complete that at this moment is if we actually manage to get our hands on blonde bitch at this moment in time. Which yeah. I'm assuming is the bitch in the blue armor, right? I'm going to assume it's the blue bitch in the blue armor, right? <laughs> like, I mean, if you want to like, assume that, you can. I would never say such a thing because I never mentioned the person shooting was a blonde person. Just in blue armor, but you, you, you told us about the blood, the per, the blue yeah, armor. Yeah, the person that got off the, the, shuttle. the shuttle definitely took their helmet off, and from the back, all that blonde hair came out at the back. Mm. So, yeah, I've got it. 
But that could have been anyone. Yeah, anyone at all. I, I'm, I'm using better knowledge, okay? So <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to put this out there, right? Something Lyco would know. The stewards are all in blue armor. Mm. <gasps> Is it Lyco? Lyco, <laughs> what you did, it's man. Drag Lyco. Like, next transformation. You never told me you could do astral projection. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> This is what it's it actually just Sindial in drag. <laughs> Interesting for a steward to try and assassinate a fucking bone sage, but... Mm. But not unreasonable. Right. Yeah, it'd be, it'd does, be pretty unreasonable. That's you assuming they're after the bone sage. And not like us, maybe. <laughs> mm. So... Which, to be fair, would not be unreasonable. Yeah. Yeah, like, I wouldn't entirely judge them for like, that. Any footage You're trying to make it criminals. Yeah, I was gonna say any footage from, you know, Absalom would be you guys space jumping into the middle of it, having chats with a bone sage that goes off and then somehow the entire place falls apart after you boost away. Which to be fair was really cool. It right. was, I was about to say that same mm. thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I loved that as well. It was so fucking cool. But anyway. Um <laughs> Yeah. Even the results of that, of like being like volleyed through drift space and then crashing on verses, that's cool as well. Like the whole that, that entire. Act. Let's go back to that. In fact, Zig, can you just time travel us back? We'll do it again. Oop, doop, 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 boop. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Um, you are well. you did blah blah blah, and you kind of, yeah, it was fucking awesome, mate. Uh, right. So, Zig, are you changing the goal slightly, or are you keeping it as is? I, I'm I'm trying to think of like a better wording because. Do you know what's an easier like way the... to do that then? Will Colin use Lyco's knowledge to share with Zig? That's what I'm saying. That's I'm really big, but... not sure what we're getting at. Do you mean. Basically, are you going to tell Zig about everything Rana Seth who told you? Alright, just let me know. I'm going to have that go. Uh, I don't see why not. The reason is, if you would tell him that stuff, then. That means Callum can word a goal slightly more geared to it, instead of having to wait for Zig to know about it, to write a goal that's a bit more focused. Obviously, the session is kind of over now, so I can't really do it this second, but Correct. if you're t if, in terms of just like straight out, like, will I tell him? Yeah, yeah, I will. So Zig, you can now form a goal based on the fact that at some point you will be told this, right? Right. Does that make sense? So. Yes. Okay. So... <sighs> I need to think of words, which is my... Okay. Now, for goal four that's sitting empty, then, while, while he's having a think about that, uh, any immediate ideas from the rest of the, the group what goal four could be? Three-egg oh. omelette. What's that, sorry? I said three-egg omelette. Three-egg omelette. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's going to be the session finale, right? It's actually going to be some <laughs> hyper-breakfast simulator that we've been playing. Um, hyper-breakfast? Bre yeah. Hyper-breakfast <laughs> simulator! That's it, the hyper-breakfast <laughs> simulator. <laughs> I don't know what we're far anymore. Um, what about, I don't I know, about the blue armor person, right? Or something as well? Or the blue armor. Did we actually proper see them, though? I mean, we got a cut scene about it, but... No, but let's face it. The first, really it like... the first thing you're likely to do is run outside the ship next session, so... Sniper Joe, baby! Mm. Oh, wait, it's just Sniper Wolf from Metal Gear I was about to say that, man. I was literally about to say that exact thing. <laughs> this is that an e-girl? <laughs> um, one of the best e-girls deserves it, quite frankly. I, I'd know nothing about her other than that she exists. Anyway, Listen, speaking of this, I'm not an eager is, guy. There a, is there a goal four happen? Or? I don't know, maybe something to do about the Queen or something parents. like that, or getting like, in touch with the maybe final hour, since we all kind of assumed that, but then she probably may actually just be as a flare. Yeah. Like, that, that's unfortunate. Uh, mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not entirely there. sure. I'm going to have to think, personally. That's fine, well. if you need to think. Uh, MDL get anything they maybe want to put in? Because keep in mind, we'll review it at the start of next session as well. Uh, it's just if you've got something that, obviously, I can... But we'll let review us. Yeah, right. Uh, yes. Yeah, review it all, because I can't really think of anything else, really. No. Nah. Besides something to do with Well, I'll have a think. I'll have a think, and I'll get back to you at some point. Because I'm sure we'll... I mean, you say this every I'm week. Um, I do, and sometimes it's true. Sometimes. Uh, yeah. Is we'll it, get a good quick goal and then we'll level up to level 9. 
Um... Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if... Yeah. I'll put one outside the ship, Colin. That, no, because if you, no, cause if you not... walk, it would be terrible. It's just like an action. Spot, spot the, spot the sniper. Uh, like, mm -hmm. just what you're seeing war, is World the Warcraft. This ship, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kill. The, no, let's not automatically jump. Probably should though. I mean, we may have to. But if I can tell, she's like a steward. If she is steward, if that wasn't just uh, a beige herring. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, if if that wasn't just a red herring, then in, mm, I may... the code name the Scarlet Cod. How dare you? Mm. The Scarlet Cod strikes again. <laughs> I may, you know, I may. Why uh, do you wear blue if you're the Scarlet Cod? Precisely. And runs away. <laughs> they will never expect the Scarlet Cod. It's like the blue Raja from the uh, three in. main weapons. <laughs> Surprise! Anyway, uh, sorry. <laughs> Stay on target. M do got any never. strong feelings about goal four, or has it been left blank? Going once, going twice. I'm not in favour of goal four. I am opposed to goal four. Okay, and Callum, that is a terrible wording. Like no. <laughs> What's he done? Something, <laughs> something, rad egg. Um, I'm, I'm like, I'm really struggling for wording at all, like at all here. This is try not wording it like the emperor and Family Guy. Um, also, why is okay, this your new voice? how about that? <laughs> this is, this is this the is... new Colin. <laughs> Hello, new Colin. Oh dear, this is terrible. Welcome. Right, well, that's Please goals done. Me. So. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad we had this. Yep. Cause What's happening to I, I my character? I just feel like sheet. goals would goals would be done like forever. So let's move on, and uh, let's do a wrap up chat, shall we? And we'll deal with goals at the start of the next session. You can let me know during the week if you update goals, so I have some kind of advanced notice. You know that stuff that's great for GMs. Um, oh sure, why not? So, let's just start from Zig and work our way up, shall we? Up to the bottom. I loved everything about all the the dead people. <laughs> right, okay. I love dead people. It was so cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did. Um, Bone sages are cool. I Zig doesn't like Ramasethi, but Ramasethi was cool as fuck. I um, liked her. I have been excited about her for ages. Yeah, she's... <laughs> um, she's just, oh, she's just so cool. Um, and I think, like, it's one of those things where me as Callum, I'm like, I want to know everything. I want to know all the lore and the backstory of all of this. It's so cool. Um, and I mean, yeah, it's it's ob obviously it was very uh, a Lyco heavy session and it was really cool to get some sort of like kind of more, more um, insight on like the the whole thing with the the um, Bone Sages and the Bri sort of relationship thing going on there. Mm -hmm. Very um very spooky and oof. Um because it was hinted at way early on, um as well. And it was way back in let me see if I can find it again. Pretty sure it was way back in session twenty six or twenty seven. Right. I think it was 27, which was the session you came for me back in the 15th of July, 2019. And that is uh, when Sindael and Lyco had a conversation about if I come with you, I can discuss things about the Barai. Mm. Right. Yeah, I knew he knew stuff. I didn't know he made <laughs> Yeah, he was obviously super vague and helpful for you, right, back then, because it was mostly a, you know, if he just told you that then, then you'd obviously say, yeah, go, go be the battery now, please. You know, there'd been no, no weight behind the choice you had to make. Well, thankfully, uh, I'm a righteous man. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, CC continues to be wholesome. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, uh. 
Don't make those noises for fuck's sake. So what good. are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, boy? So good. Also, uh, it was session 25, sorry. Choose. That was the session. Apologies. Oh, yeah. Um, Let the body. <laughs> but yeah, like, I mean, yeah, other than fun. that, like, it was. It was it was just it's just fun. It was it was a good session. Um and I, I just loved all the all the deadness, all the necro nonsense. Well I'm really glad you did, because I'm as I said, I've been waiting for folks to get to this for a long time now. Yeah. And it's been nice to actually have you get there. Um yes. Also, interesting as well, like loads of lore stuff that Zig is gonna be obviously somewhat interested in, I hope. Um Something like what does it, somewhat conveys it, right? Um, you will. Yeah. Did you also notice, let me just skip a, in the order here a little bit, but did you notice that she asked which egg was the one that obviously Hamani was in possession of? Yeah. Even though she knew the solar egg was on Akaton. Which is interesting. But then... Which, yeah, it's also really weird because she knows which... Maybe she was just testing me. Or I assume she knows which egg is the third egg. But you just pulled the solar egg through time. Oh, yeah. So he might have an older or a newer version of it. Right? Ah, yes. Yeah. So, yes. That I just wanted to highlight because, again, Bone Sages and time, not the same relationship. <laughs> um, sadly, they're all only able to describe things as Ryan descriptions, so mm -hmm. unfortunately Sindael with his sibling-like relationship with time <laughs> is uh, the best we're going to get, I'm sorry. Uh, is there Oshwan Adzig? Um, no, I just I just love the, the relationship between CC and the captain. Um, mm. um, there, wa there wasn't um, a lot of weird, but you know, I still love weird. That's, mm -hmm. that's it, you know. Good. And obviously, you know, you know, I I I loved all 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 of Ryan's work. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't feel left out. I just appreciate. Yeah, that's it. fine. Just just I, like I felt like I've met, I've literally mentioned. Everyone. I love I your Ryan. work. <laughs> I mean, you did. I love like, your work. You said you loved all the dead stuff, right? And that was, I mean, yeah. as we mentioned. Okay, that's fine. That was all mine. Long time, long time yeah. listener, first time caller. Like uh, I, I appreciate it. Don't worry. Um, it's nice to be appreciated, um, and I appreciate Zig's participation in this episode, which was facilitating Lyco's participation in this episode. I um, Thank you. Precipitation. No, no breathing. breathing. Because of the rain, you see. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, yes, precipitation, no breathing. <laughs> can we hear from Weird No, please? You can certainly try. I definitely hope so. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Solid session, guys. Solid session all around. Uh, mm -hmm. Give yourselves a clap. Um, give yourselves a clap. Yeah, please don't. Um, oh, it's late. Really <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that was really enjoying getting to all the bone stage stuff, uh, bone sage mm -hmm. stuff. Um, it, it was actually quite fun being weird, being slightly dismissive of that side of mysticism. Mm -hmm. um, which is a bit of a different relationship than you she has, I think, with those cool things. Yeah, um, and she did comment on that as well. She like like she was like aware enough that you have a different relationship with existence than the rest of them. Oh yes. Um, yeah. Um, but no, it was. I mean, obviously very Lyco heavy, which is always good to see. Get more into the background of the Oxians. Mm -hmm. See how many pieces are still on the board, which I find quite impressive, given that. Uh, when I mean, you keep threatening us that you know there's, we're not going to go into another year. I know, this. right? I actually, I mean, I don't know how I'm somehow going to summarise this. But... <laughs> um, they all, so the and and they the all died. <laughs> I'm sitting listening to this, and it's like, yeah, hmm, okay. <laughs> the face that we get they through things. I know, right? And I'm honestly like, right, so we're going to get off Akaton, and everything's going to be like ten second segments of me changing palette. So it's just creep. yep. Yeah, I built up a lot in this game, and I don't intend to stop because it's really fun. And yep. then we'll just stop, and that'll be it. And uh, maybe we do need to do a season two, right? But let's not talk about that just yet. Let's just pretend that we're ending it. I end mean, of... I've got fantastic ideas for a fantasy modern type uh, nice. game. Nice. Nice. So we could do with a prequel, 
mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the period mm -hmm. between Pathfinder and Starfinder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, on the proviso that I get a player as a Raccoon Druid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Just Present yeah. Finder, yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Friend Finder, <laughs> we'll call it. I, I'm, <laughs> and, um, I'm more than happy to do a very short campaign. Life. He lies uh, him about a uh, Pathfinder 2 using uh, the Pathfinder 2 system, but let's not talk about that yet either. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what else was there? Yeah, getting into all the spookiness is always fun. Um, the totally not, not really Borg ship, spooky. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, very Borg vibes. I think I've done those vibes for a while from the... Uh, the yeah, options, though. Like I tried to add in the part where they didn't feel specifically like drones, right? Like yeah. I did try and imply that they all kind of were their own thing while still acting a bit dronish. Um, mm -hmm. There's definitely a weird overlap in that <laughs> regard. Um, the Borg definitely have a very undead vibe to them. Yeah, hundred percent. Yes, they're certainly not the healthiest champs. No, um, a bit peaky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole assimilation thing is very... A bit the peak of. Mm. <laughs> 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 That's it, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I, I do want to call out uh, Captain and Cece's relationship. They are an adorable father-son duo. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm standing for them all the way. It's so good. Yeah. Good. Good. Good standing for them, I like it. It's, it, it's weirdly wholesome. Right, like as, yeah, as Zig yeah. said, like it is so weirdly <laughs> awesome in this mm -hmm. like Borg ship, essentially. Yeah. It's a nice palate cleanser. Yeah, like that's why it, I was just accepted it, man. I just love that we've got to try and stop this. This is it's when it sits good. on your shoulders and it's like hiding your face because obviously that's what kids do because kids don't understand that the dad still needs to see, right? Um, yeah, except I'm just starting now, <laughs> stoic. <Just, yep. laughs> Kind of looking through the gaps in his fingers, yeah. <laughs> I also still like the fact that he can still wave to her when she waves for the weird private conversation thing, because obviously he still has, like, four free hands. Um, yeah, I'm going to try doing that next time. Yeah, just climb on the captain's back and just... That's his true strength. Uh, I don't have anyone's strength. Your players, but please don't. of course. Do you want to carry me, actually? Like, you've got two arms to carry me and have two arms to shoot. Mm-hmm. You have like a walking, talking supernova in your arms, it'll be great. I'm not sure that I need to use my arms to shoot. My plasma cannon is integrated into my yeah. power armor. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be sitting, like, eating pretzels. It's even better, lad. If you can carry me, eat pretzels and shoot. Like, fucking yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> I am literally so, the tank. You'll carry the captain, right? The captain's obviously going to carry, um, you know, CC. I am. Yeah. Zig will be on one shoulder, your plasma cannon will be on the other. So, it's just really Lyco that has to walk. I'd like I'll be four miles away with a sniper rifle. Yeah. You could carry you a, a skitterman during each hand, which in turn <laughs> gives you carry three <laughs> rifles. Ah, fuck again, we have as well, by the way. That's something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's an extension. That's a six arm extension. Anyway. Uh, Twelve arm extension. Let's so, go so besides, let's not theory craft if. A Kasathan holds four skitamanders that have six arms <laughs> each. How many pistol shots can they fire per turn? Let's not get into that. Let's just focus on as weird get anything else he wants to add. Oh, I think I've caused enough trouble. It's good. I love it. Love <laughs> as it. I have. Perfect. Mm -hmm. can, can I just like jump back to me and say my favorite part was um, Alex's wrap up? <laughs> I, no, because I feel like that somehow robs no! all of us of credit. Um, uh -huh. No! Segwaying okay, into time. Zora. Okay. Uh, I mean, a lot has been covered, but I did enjoy Ramasefu. Absolutely adore CC. <laughs> and uh, good job, Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a new session. Did it well. uh, also, let's just all take a moment and congratulate Colin on completing a goal. Holy fuck. It's not the first time I've done that, so no, don't you, don't no, you no. do this to me. I, I mean, in Anyone. general, goals are difficult to complete. I, um, I, 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 okay, I, I, I would take that. Mm -hmm. I, I've done one at some point. You've done a lot, yeah. You've got a bunch. One, two, three, I've got four, lots of goals. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Don't even talk seven. to me about goals. So yeah, Zora's <laughs> got seven, right? Uh, Nyx has a bunch, right? One, two, three, four, uh, five... Six, seven, Please don't seven. count them out loud. And then uh, Michael has... Please don't. One, two, no, no, don't. don't, don't. Three, <laughs> four, 
five, right? Oh God, it's called stop. Five. Stop, 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 <laughs> and right. Believe it or not, uh, thank Zig... you for listening to Starfinder: The Fragments of Eternity. And Zig um, has no, 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 um, two no, sh- completed. No, 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 but no, no, no. those are those are discover my connection with the vault and confront the captain about rolling the crew. And yeah, they're still valid. This wasn't a, a shaming session. This was just to let you know that like everybody has well, the shaming session comes next. We yeah. start the shade. struggle shade. session comes This next. is the shade set. Like, but, but... And to be honest though, I've been having the easiest time with goals technically because I've always got to be fo- like falling the main story parts on most of the time. Because captain shit. I need to go get the ship. Everybody else does the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just shit like that. And the auto resolve like goal, which was the, was it resolve Drag Queen's death and royal groupness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I have cheesed a few of them as well. But we need some cheesy goals on the lives right now, boys. My goals to, to <laughs> find something shiny here. Find something shiny there. <laughs> you found something shiny in the desert. I did. Can I have a goal for that, Captain? No. Uh, see. Oh, so I'm not the Captain. That's I was one of the few characters I don't actually. Um, Play, weirdly. It's a suitable source of income, right? <clears throat> what so go find bodies? something shiny in the desert. Nah, all that stuff's time ravaged, remember? I am... Yeah, right. I'm really getting fed up asking people, work. I'm just, right, weird. <laughs> we're yeah. gone to just find a shipwreck, okay? That's my source of income. I'm fucking sick of asking people. You are at one? I've been asking for ages. You're at one? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's just fucking. Like, just, you, just, you, you just could take this the ship, right? Like, I mean, you've already got it's under attack help. for the outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. exactly. <laughs> and she's took a hundred damage for taking, taking a bad pun. Mm-hmm. So yeah, right. Like, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could totally take her <laughs> on this after. Again, you remember it going badly. <laughs> if you were the size of a new. So, beyond that, Zora, anything else you'd like to add? No, just that. Just what I'd like. And, um, I joined Ramasefu. She's an interesting character. And got to fuck up some blue armored bodies next <laughs> session. I am glad that, as I said, you're enjoying even just like the variation of the bone sages, to be honest. I've enjoyed creating them. Because again, the, <clears throat> the parts in the books about them mostly say there are bone sages. So it's been left to me. So I have enjoyed that part of it. Um, but yes, I. Lyco. Hello. 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 Are we doing Abe now? I thought we were doing Russian accent. Hello. These are fucking Madokins. <laughs> Hello. 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 Anyway. Look um... out. <laughs> Shout out to Abe's know. Odyssey, I'll... apparently. <laughs> what a game. I'll be. I would like a refund, please. Anyway, <laughs> yes, so, uh, I liked the bit where I was in it. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the whole session. <laughs> yes. Um, that was, uh, true, and also true. Uh, but no, mostly it was, it was fun getting to get, getting to get to... He's broken. That isn't actually wrong, it just sounds it. Getting to the point where we actually finally met Ramasethu yeah. in the flesh. And bringing that to head and sort of finding what exactly she was looking for. So it was just, it was nice to advance the plot. It was nice to meet this character who'd been sort of in the background for how many sessions now? Well, like, and, uh, again, for me, obviously, 40, forever. But, uh, yeah, like so many. Um, <laughs> in the grim da- No, uh, so that was cool. It was sort of nice being able to sort of do a bit more mystical stuff with Lyco, which isn't his forte at all. And again, you have often said that you get the dice rolls you need. Uh, I would contend that you do what you need to do with the dice rolls, but uh, <laughs> and I appreciate the the, <laughs> the four. I I appreciate the you. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the four that I rolled, um, that was cute. That was, I I I don't mean to be wanky describing it's cute, but I mean it was mm. it was just um, it was good. Yeah, there was a neatness. There was a kind <laughs> of course. Uh, Lyco is the one guy who doesn't know who he's talking about because Lyco isn't into magical shit. Yeah. Uh, of course, Nix knows. Like, not Nix. Well, it was Nix, actually, yeah. in this case. But of course, mm. Weird knows because Nix knew. Um, and of course, 
even if he didn't know from first-hand experience as a scavenger that this is something that people looked for, he would probably know from his reading. Um, because I feel like he is someone who is widely enough read uh, on those kind of matters. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. It's not he's something a that's scary in there, though. So... He's a fucking tank <laughs> with a fucking. So yeah, the, reason, um... the reason why I never described it as Nix Five read about this, it was Nix Five was asked to acquire it, thus was mm-hmm. made aware of it, is because it's not something that is widespread knowledge. Right. Uh, hence, why there's a random rare book about deep it. Deep enough that he might know a little bit, like outside of that. Well, oh yeah. I just at that point, like... then Nix Five would then explore the journey, yeah. right? At mm-hmm. that point, um, being and, like, oh, uh, there's a thing everybody wants. Apparently, it's the biggest. Because it's just clearly, Cap had an in, obviously, mm-hmm. very natural. That yeah, he's he's gone to war with them. He knows what he's looking out for. If you actually want to destroy one of them, mm-hmm. that's not to say it's easily done. But as a high-ranking Vesk, of course, he knew. Um, so that was just nice. It was just nice that it worked out that I was the one who didn't know, despite my strong connection to it. Mm-hmm. Because look past his uh, undead nature, and of course Lyco didn't know, because he's the least mystically inclined, and he's not been at war with them, so why the hell would he know how to destroy them through their magic electro head device? Mm-hmm. That, to me, was just a little bit... <sighs> it, it, just a little bit of serendipity with the role, but obviously, it's also what you then do with it, going, okay... Why does Zeg know? Well, because Zeg reads all sorts of crap. Um, and he's got access to Zeg breaks had... the rules of knowledge. That is why. Yeah, and because Zeg had access to all sorts of weird tomes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Um, and, and yeah, that, that was just a lovely little thing that adds a little bit of flavour, and I enjoyed thoroughly. Uh, I also enjoyed. Um, shut up, phone! I also enjoyed, uh, <laughs> sorry, there was a bit where she said something about, you know, you know, you know, if you, if you want to have something to reflect, you better maybe change your name, something to that effect, right? Yeah. Which, I had been drawing parallels, I say I had been drawing, I had been pointing out the parallels, which this campaign has either inadvertently or intentionally, or a mix of both, uh, been drawing between, uh, Lyco and Weird. And yep. that was a really obvious glaring one. Because he's gone through this very unintentional uh, change. This change that was brought uh, about and forced upon him by outside forces. Uh, and I think it shows their difference of perspective. It shows how different their perspectives are and their personalities are. Uh, while simultaneously underscoring how similar they are. Uh, because he's not eager to do that. Mm-hmm. Lyco is Lyco, however much he's changed. Uh, I said as much in the session, and I just thought it was really cool to be able to get an opportunity to say that uh-huh. and get an opportunity to come out loud and explain, you know, without it just being expounding for no reason. Now, this does, is how it, I, I It differ. does fundamentally underline the differences between... Nix Five, like encouraging evolution, and yeah, I don't, I don't intend to, I don't desire to, but I accept I will change. Mm-hmm. Um, it was fun. Also, oh, sorry, was fun. I was gonna say, there's also, I think, it highlights the fundamental difference in this is gonna sound wanky as well. Go for it. Uh, in the experience of self between androids and humans. Oh, I love it. In mm-hmm. that, uh, androids don't see themselves you know the name doesn't necessarily reflect strongly their identity because they pass through multiple forms in the same body uh-huh. it, well, you know it, it, their, their name shifts with their identity um, their body doesn't change so that's a unique one for weird which kind of why he's got the, it's the new funny. name so like, designation. But yeah. I was going to say that point there is funny because obviously like humans and their what seven years cell cycle right mm-hmm. is it isn't it ironic? Right, because then oh, obviously yeah. as you move forwards, technically you are no longer the person you were previously. Uh, well, it's um, <laughs> the I am ship of thingy bobber. Mm-hmm. I always forget his name. Yeah, thank you. Uh, or the parable about you know you can't cross the same river twice. Uh, or the Buddhist principle of non-self. Mm-hmm. 
to a certain extent. Who knew this game would lead to like these types of like uh, reflection, right? Um, for uh, uh, journeys. Zig, Zig. <laughs> probably, probably. Um, that was actually something else that uh, you learned as well. Was um, the bone said you do seem to have like a skill set as well. Uh, like she says, she remembers, and yeah. that Sindel had a gift for foresight, right? Because mm. his relationship with time was a bit whack. <laughs> time whammy, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it was it was cute again how like everything, even though you were clearly not meaning to, and like oh how do I phrase this in a way that isn't just going to uh -huh. massively trigger Zek? <laughs> yeah, like I love that. It was definitely if I'd. If I was the type of person to script dialogue, I would have chose different words for the mm. script. But obviously, these are the terms you keep precious things in a vault. But it's not the vault that is the vault of Abadar, like we know and hate him, or the the vault guardian. And I'm like, nope, it's the archivist. That is what that person is called. That is the problem that lies between you and the goal of the electroencephalon for Sindael. The other interesting thing, though, in that regard, is. It isn't necessarily a vault with one electroencephalon, right? That was sitting in the back of my mind of weird yeah. field day if they can actually pull this off. Right. Which I... is his sales pitch to his old crew. So, God. yeah. I, I actually, I can't wait for that angle to come up because mm. you, obviously you don't know if it is like one particular guardian of multiple vaults and you have to then find the giant face of Sindael on the door of his vault, or is it one big vault with a bunch of shelves? Right? Because keep in mind there was like 140 whatever, I think it was 142 maybe? I can't remember, I'll need to go back and listen to whatever number I said. But there was 140 bone sages, right? So if it's a vault of all of them... Hmm. Right? We could, we could just kill them. <laughs> Once and for all. Right. <laughs> Think of the opportunity we have here. Exactly. But then, better the, you know, devil you know. You know. When it comes to fighting the Alibrian, right? Since you know they were once Alibrian. And keeping the Vesk in check as well, obviously. That's maybe not the station. captain's biggest concern right now, right? Like, the, the Vesk in check, that's going to sort itself out, isn't it, Zora? Totally. Yeah, see? Uh, absolutely. Nah. I believe him. <laughs> Convinced not. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Michael? Uh, let me think. No, I think I think I've covered. Yeah, it was good. It was nice to get, again, for me, that was a big lore dump session, which was important. Um, yeah, I, I, I obviously was kind of front and centre of this session, and... Uh, I do, I do try and uh, engage with other people, so it's not just me just ex expounding on, on my theories of Lyco for uh, however long. But yeah, um, but I, I like, apologize even, about as it. much as it's as much as you say that though, we did have like people having an opportunity to like interact with the journey towards here. We knew that it was going to be Lyco heavy because Ramasethu asked for you. We've known this scene yeah. would be mm -hmm. you heavy. But you also needed everybody else to explain what an electroencephalon was, right? So we got loads of lore from the backstory of each person as to why. So like, it it does work out quite quite nicely, and obviously we might need some teamwork to get out of this situation now that seems to have presented itself. I am. So yeah, I am excited for the next session as always. Uh, but if you have nothing else to add, thank you all for playing. Good. Thank you. Thank you for running. Thank you. And thank you all for playing. And yes, I will speak thank to you. Thank you all for listening. Indeed, right. Thank you, everybody that got this far. If you've got this far, send us proof of you're listening to the whole thing. Um, and, and we'll pay your therapy bill. And Fred Cath Androids. Anyway, uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Goodbye, Dr. Nick. Bye.